Hi, I'm Sean Parr. Welcome to week three of the Woo! national tour. This is the Ultimate RV Show, and we are ready for some more fun. Last week, we were in Virginia, 30-degree temperatures. This week, we're in Florida, 70-plus so temperatures, nice. and so we're bringing nice. you the hottest deals out there. I'm not sure what just happened, but <laughs> we have over 80,000 fresh-from-the-factory RVs ready to go, so there's always plenty of inventory. I wish some special guests. We love us, the Remingtons, Caleb, Tiffany. So great to see you guys. And uh, you guys have had such a great week. Oh, such a fantastic week. Coming down from Virginia, we've been fishing, fishing, hiking, <laughs> canoeing, hanging out with the jerkies. Yeah. Living the lifestyle is Living what we call lifestyle. it. And you guys uh, made your camping reservations as we were in Virginia. And I love that you guys actually made those plans together, said, let's come down, let's have a good time. Living the lifestyle as the jerkies have always done. Oh, it was great. Yeah, we were right parked at a lake. They made us some steak and smashed potatoes. Sorry, I must have missed so that good. text message <laughs> ne for the invitation. <laughs> next, <laughs> next time, next time. <laughs> and Nellie, the kids are enjoying this too. I just love uh, hanging out with your kids. I'll, I'll babysit anytime. You know, I'm going to take you up on that. We could use a date night. Yeah, date nights are always good. You know what we have? We have over $250,000 worth of giveaways. We call them ultimate giveaways here because this is week three. This is day one. And trust me when I say we've got a lot going on. How do they register, Caleb? We're super excited. Actually, I'll Tiffany. say it away. You guys have to text URVS to 46642 to register and enter in all of these giveaways. We have so many. So excited. We're going to start, and I, this is so exciting, with the big bunk houses right now. And Chris is a wild man, and he is excited, too, for uh, week number three, the Dutchman Atlas 3342 BHF. Chris, take it away. The beautiful state of Florida, home of imagination, home of dreams. And with the Ultimate RV Show National Tour, this segment being all about those big bunk houses. You know, we love Florida. I know there's a lot of shows going on right now, but the Ultimate RV Show National Tour is all about helping you find the RV that's perfect with you. With over 80,000 factory fresh RVs coming. If you're looking for something 37 feet long, can sleep six to nine people comfortably, and you're looking for a fifth wheel that has amenities, features, and a price that is unbeatable, I am standing in your imagined dream come true RV. Because, you know, down here in Florida, you know, they did that, the Florida humidity, we're feeling it right now. That, that humidity is just murder on my hair. Makeup! Ah, oh, that's so much better. Ultimate RV Show National Tour. What's up? It's Chris Young standing in the 2021 Dutchman Atlas 3342 BHF. This is a bunkhouse fifth wheel that if you've been thinking about taking the family down to the Keys, maybe going to Disney World, maybe just you want to have something set up near the golf spot because you and your golf buddies want to go play. This is beautiful. The rear is dominated by a separate bunk room, and yes, this is a bath and a half fifth wheel. Right here on the campsite, we got ourselves a double over bunk with the entertainment center underneath, hideaway solid ladder, solid wood construction here on the drawers. You're gonna see that all throughout this Dutchman Atlas 3342 BHF. Over here on the off-camp side in the slide, dual USB charging ports up top, 300 pound max capacity twin over bunk. Boom, that also has the little mini dinette. I love this for the kids because if you do travel with your kids and they wanna go do their own thing, maybe have their own food, eat, TV over here while you and the adults go do their thing, or maybe you're playing cards in there, they're in here playing the board games. You have that separation of space that allows them to do what they want to do and not leave those creature comforts of home in beautiful, well-insulated, well-built, affordable comfort that you can take with you wherever you want to go. This Dutchman Atlas 3342 BHF starts at $46,555 or as low as $11.15 a day. If you say, all right, Chris, I'm in. How do I get a hold of this one? Just drop me a comment down below, RV, or text RV to 46642. Beautiful big windows, solid wood balances, mushroom lights, USB charging ports all the way throughout this beauty too. And it is a bath and a half. So if you do bring the family along with you, or if you have another set of adults, maybe it's that ladies wine tour getaway or the ladies keys jumping. Oh my goodness, going down to the Keys, hitting those wineries and those breweries and just enjoying the beach and the sun that only Florida can offer. Oh, come on, Kev. How can we get on that one? Open up 
into the living area, and this is where Dutchman's calling card really comes into play with Atlas. They love giving you space, style, and comfort that allows you to live and play while you're out RVing. Full profile fifth wheel, so you're going to have extremely high ceilings, high slides as well. So you're looking at six feet of area here on the slides, which is important because you don't want to bump your head when you're getting up and down. Comfortable double recliners right there, surrounded by large panoramic windows. So when you want to watch the sunrise or the sunset, depending on what side of the state that you're on, you're going to be able to do that in style and comfort. And when you get finished making that camp cooked meal, this is where you can sit down and do that reconnection spot. You got a large dinette booth, plenty of space to fit four people, storage underneath both. And when this is ready for nighttime, reduces down into a sleeper and boom, there you go. Oh, Chris, what about entertainment? Well, we got you right here. Large TV on a swivel arm that also pulls out and adjusts. So no matter where you're at here in the living space, you can watch it. Now, in Florida, I know the nights can sometimes get a little chilly, so right there, we got ourselves a big old fireplace, multi-flame setting, multi-light, right above our slip-resistant hyperdeck flooring. What is hyperdeck? Well, it's actually a fiberglass reinforced with polypropylene, so it's waterproof, does a really good job because everything's vacuum bonded in here as well, so you're sealed underneath. You won't get that condensation or that feeling when you're walking around of a slippery floor. Large, over eight cubic feet of space here in the Dometic fridge. And since we have opposing slides, we're able to uh, fit in an island kitchen in here as well. Which for me, if you're looking to take the family out in style and space, and you want those creature comforts of home, having the additional island is great for prepping, but what you end up doing is you end up hanging out in this area. People are grabbing drinks out of the fridge, you're sitting here talking, maybe you're prepping meals, or in the mornings, you got your little coffee station over here. Look at the backsplash that's solid. Large storage here with the frosted glass, which by the way, the frosted glass is also on the doors inside this unit for both the bunk room and the master bedroom. You got sprayer nozzle, Sprayer nozzle on my faucet right here. Look, the Ultimate RV Show National Tour is all about trying to show you some samples of these over 80,000 factory fresh RVs coming. This 2021 Dutchman Atlas 3342 BHF is brand new for 2021. Right off the, like literally, right off the factory floor. And we're gonna make this one during the Ultimate RV Show National Tour start at $46,555 or as low as $11.15 a day. Now if you say, Chris, we're getting ready to go golfing down in Florida. Or, hey, man, I like these funky shoes you got on. How do I get those at the Camping World and the Gander RV and Outdoors? And we want to go fishing. We love going offshore fishing down there in Florida because you can catch some of the sweetest fish. Yes, you can. All you got to do is just drop me a comment down below RV or text RV to 46642. You want to check out one of the 80,000 factory fresh RVs? Just text FRESH to 46642 or drop me a comment down below FRESH. Flush mounted three burner cooktop over here, plenty of space, design and layout, as well as what they've done for 2021. And pretty much each year, they keep upgrading features, they upgrade insulation, they make camping easier and more fun, as well as more affordable. It was funny, we have a new member on our team here with the production crew. His name is Grayson. First time he's ever walked into an RV. He walked into this thing and he was like, whoa, I didn't know RVs were that nice, man. They are. All right, Kev, so we're going to figure out how we do this. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Let's do the bathroom last. We'll do it on the way out. Walk into the master. This is what I love, what manufacturers are doing now, especially with Dutchman. You got that privacy glass on the front cap. Now, you got additional radiant barriers here that really help with the insulation because a lot of times, you, you know, the heat and the cold is coming on that front part of the camper. So having that additional insulation, that additional bonding really helps keep the camper where you want it. The ACs are great. You got 30,000 BTU furnished. You got a 15,000 BTU AC. So you're going to be able to do a good job of keeping it where you want it as far as the temperature. But take a look at the features, the style, the comfort, how much storage space we have, our mirrored wardrobe here, the large bed with the strut supported storage underneath. Sorry, Kev. There we go. Look at that. Now that's a spot for your golf bags. If you can see, even goes all the way up underneath the bed. So if you had, you know, maybe that custom set of Mizunos, 
you want to slide those up in there. Ooh, or you decided to pick up some, some brand new Sakana rods from Camping World of Gander RV and Outdoors. Because you know, like for fishing, hunting, all that stuff, we got everything you need. So when you come down to Florida, you don't need to, need to go anywhere else. You want to stock up for fishing and hunting? Come to us. We got you covered. TV backer right there. There's that frosted glass that I was talking about going in. And then there is our luxurious bathroom. Walk-in residential shower with the glass. Large mirrored medicine cabinet as well. Look at that large single basin sink right there, Kev. That's where you could do some shaving. I mean, I wish you guys could see Kev. He's able to grow a full beard within a day. It's, 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 it's amazing. I don't know how he does it. But this Dutchman Atlas, 2021, this is a 3342 BHF, 37 feet long, roughly 10,300 pounds dry weight, starting at 46,555, or as low as $11.15 a day. For your chance, to take anywhere from six to nine people out to wherever you want to go down here in beautiful Florida for that, for as low as $11.15 a day? Come on, man. Got the Rotoflex hitch up top. Take a look at that molded end cap, the beautiful painted fiberglass. There's that privacy window. You can see the lights coming in, but you can't see in. That's what I like about that. And whenever you see a fifth wheel, that has this molded end cap. Not only is it extra insulated, that's just a sign of good construction because it's not just a seal on the edge, it comes over, really allowing for good construction and longer use of your RV. Fiberglass with the beautiful graphics, two awnings with the LED light strips, pass-through storage here, heated and enclosed underbelly, got your power leveling on here as well. And once again, with the Ultimate RV Show National Tour, we're not really able to show you all the features of these RVs, but we have people standing by right now. We have so many spots in Florida, it's mind boggling. We have over 150 locations nationwide and some of the best people you're gonna find. They will answer all your questions about, hey, tell me about this outside kitchen and that two burner cooktop. Do I have a port if I wanna bring my grill? You absolutely do. You got your plug and play right there for your LP, for your quick connect. You got the large, what I like to call the dorm style fridge. Keep your bourbon, keep your fish, keep your golf balls, whatever you wanna put inside that outside kitchen, you can. Countertop space, look at my storage, man. And the height that I have here, cause you know in Florida, it's rainy with occasional periods of sun. But I'm gonna brighten your day right now. Because not only am I going to let you have this 2021 Dutchman Atlas 3342 BHF for as low as $46,555 or as low as $11.15 a day, 10,366 pounds dry, 37 feet. Come on, man. A bunk room. Did you see that bunk room? Were you with me? Or were you thinking about the humidity that's murder on my hair? Hey. It's Florida, there's other shows going on right now, but the only one you need to worry about is the Ultimate RV Show, because no matter where you're at, if you think you got a better deal, I'm going to beat it, guaranteed, or you get a thousand bucks in cash. To do that, if you're at another show, which by the way, with the Ultimate RV Show, you can buy and have this delivered to you without even leaving your couch. You don't have to go into crowded areas or pay an entry fee, pay a parking fee. No, it's free to watch this. And we're giving you a chance to win over $250,000 in prizes too. We're giving you great discounts and with any deal that you have, I'm gonna beat. Come on, man. Ultimate RV Show 2021 is the year of RV travel. Do it the safest way possible in your RV. But if you think you got a better deal, just text BEAT to 46642 or leave me a comment down below, BEAT. Chris, I'm at another show in Florida. I'm looking at this unit. Can you beat it? Yes. Or I'm gonna give you a thousand bucks in cash. Now, if you like this one, Chris, give me that Dutchman Atlas 3342 BHF. 46,555 starting out or as low as $11.15. I'm gonna text RV to 46642 or drop me a comment down below, RV. Now we got more factory fresh bunkhouses coming with the big old bunkhouse segment here at the Ultimate RV Show. Just get ready to text fresh to 46642. 80,000 factory fresh units coming. Come on guys, we got a lot to show, come on. Demand for RVs is at historic levels, which is why we are working around the clock to bring you over 80,000 factory fresh RVs. That's the largest selection of RVs in the world, fresh from the factory to our stores, to your driveway or campsite. RVs are made by Americans for Americans. And now you can see America for less. Shop over 80,000 factory fresh RVs, starting at just $5 a day. Click, call, or visit your local Camping World or Gander RV and Outdoors today. 
So many great places and great things to do inside the state of Florida that I am excited that the Ultimate RV Show National Tour is here for week three. What's up, it's Chris Young. This segment is gonna be all about those big bunkhouses. And when I mean big, I mean big. Starting off right now in what I like to call the crossover motorhome. This is the 2021 Forest River FR3 32DS mixing the best features of regular pull behinds with the affordability, class C's when it comes to drivability, and class A space comfort style and all the amenities. And this one sits on that F53 chassis. You got that 7.3 liter, 445 cubic inches of V8 rah, 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 love on the road in this one. Plenty of passing power, plenty of strength. And this one sleeps eight, 33 feet long, starting right now during the Ultimate RV Show National Tour at $124,155 or as low as $24.34 a day. Kev, surely that not only could fit every family's budget, but something like this would be great to go down to Disney World, right? Wouldn't you think so? Absolutely. Check out this beautiful dash. 9.6 inch touchscreen right there. Got the swivel captain's chairs that are the, the duo tone. I like this because the darker interiors also kind of help hide wear and tear as well as stains. You got your workstation over there in the cockpit. Drop down bunk right here. Now, as I mentioned, this beautiful FR3 32DS will sleep up to eight people comfortably. And when you take a look through, we have a slide on the off camp side that does a good job of giving us the additional space in the living area. And this is a wraparound booth dinette. Makes it a little bit more comfortable when you reduce it down into a sleeper, but can also turn into a booth dinette if you want to. Because you got the large, check out the uh, table that we have here with the cup holders. This reduces down into a sleeper. You got the side opening storage underneath on both sides. Plush, thick, and comfortable. And for a Class A, starting at $124, $155, or as low as $24.34 a day, that's really good, economical. We got dual ACs. I mean, this is that quick cool, the, you know, the, the just awesome. When it's hot, open that up, get the dump. This is also uh, one of those ACs that you don't get the drips. The condensation, it's condensation proof, I like that. The storage compartments here, you got that glazed maple cabinetry, and the storage folds down. Like that because it makes easier to put stuff in. You're not having to worry about holding it up, mixing the style and convenience and features of a class A affordability of a C or a travel trailer. I'm a big fan of Forest River. Large windows here on the campsite. And you know, this, this kind of reminds me the uh, first trip we ever took in my dad's old class C. He had a little thing called a Scotty. We went down to Disney World. I was eight years old. Never will forget it. Got down there, Saw Mickey Mouse, he left me hanging for a high five. Didn't like that, always remember that. But the fact that I remember that trip, you asked my dad about it, and he just goes, get back out in the yard and keep mowing. Um, but me, those are those memories that I never will forget. I was eight years old, that was almost 40 years ago for me. Those are those things that with motorhomes or with RVs that you can create for your family as well. Just think about it. You got a jackknife sofa right here that also has the kick out recliners on it comfort, style, and convenience, and enjoying. Imagine going down to the Keys, Santa Maria Island. I mean, you know, just going out to the Everglades. I mean, you know, you just want to take a trip out there. Let's go wrestle a gator and get some gator tail. You could do things like that in your RV. They're the safest and easiest way to see America. And now during the Ultimate RV Show, the prices are absolutely amazing. 84 inch high ceilings on this. You got the wood molded covers here on the strips. Same thing with the light and dark interiors that we have here. Solid surface countertops on the kitchen. Flush mounted cooktop too. 20 inch oven there, like that. That's plenty of space to do the baking. But having the flush mounted with the glass cover really allows you to have more prep space when you're back here cooking. And you got the solid backsplash, adding a nice little decorative touch. Over here, more of the solid surface countertops. You got the stainless steel undermounted sink, the 50-50 split with the high-rise faucet. And the one thing you're not gonna run out of in this FR3 32DS is storage space. There's our table, which actually goes up front in the cockpit, right there. Now, with this one being the 32DS, it's, this is a bunk unit. 
And wait until you see this bunk setup. But first, wait until you see this Norcold four door fridge freezer combo here. Look at this. Love it. Plenty of space for those long trips. Runs on both gas and electric. Good combination. Plenty of storage space there. And you say, Chris, that's nice with the storage space and everything, but um, what about like extra cutting and prep space? Well, you got the fold out right here that gives you some more prep space, but also, check this, Kev. Tell me that ain't cool. Yeah, I know, right? Look at that. Look at, and then, oh, you slide that back and we got some storage right there. Come on, Kev. The family would love this. Now, I know you like to do the sashimi sushi when you're down here in Florida, Kev. So, could you see yourself doing the little prep and cut right here? Yeah, it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. 80 gallon gas tank on this one. Uh, you got a 52 gallon fresh and dual 42s. Dual 42s, gray tank 42, black tank. 42. So if you're saying, Chris, I love what you're talking here. Uh, we need us a bunkhouse class C. How do I get this one? Well, just drop me a comment down below fresh or text or, or RV, drop RV down below or text RV to 46642. Now, if you're looking for a bunk unit, I love this because of the way that they did the mattresses on these bunks. This is that fabric feel. It's not the leatherette, less sweat. The sheets won't slide as bad. Plus it's over three inches thick. If you need it for the storage, you got the suspension net there. Push it up and lock it in so if the kids want to play, boom. Slide out sofa down there, which gives you 10 inches more space sleeping than you have on the bunk up top. So you really got a single over a full there. Got the bathroom right here. And check this out, porcelain bowl with the foot flush. Modern designed interior for the bathroom too. Look at that stainless steel sink. Shower with the glass enclosure. Large storage cabinets here. Entertainment center for the kids. And a little hideaway for the connections there with uh, strut supported. My buddy Jace had a great point about that. He says, you know, it's kind of weird walking into some of these RVs and seeing the connections just out in the open. It's nice to have them hidden. Residential, beautiful. You got a solid pocket door separating the master from the rest of the RV. King size bed back here. Now, if, if you've been thinking about going somewhere in Florida. Maybe you want to go to Disney World. Maybe you want to go down to the Keys. Maybe you're an avid golfer. You just want to go to the beach because there's some of the best beaches in the world down here. And you're saying, I need the style and comfort. Chris, but I have questions about this Class A. Sure, you say it starts at 124, 155, or as low as $12.34 a day, but I got more questions. Maybe I need something, maybe I don't need bucks. Just text FRESH to 46642 or drop me a comment down below, FRESH, because we have show specialists standing by right now who will walk you through and answer all the questions that you might have about what's this, you know, hey, tell me about the Rotocast storage with the drain holes and the portholes. Tell me about this automatic leveling system, the four-point leveling system that you have here, the hydraulics. You know, how does that work? How does it operate? Tell me about the 5,500 watt generator that this one has. Tell me about the external entertainment that this one has or the storage the slide toppers are they important in florida well with slide toppers yes they're absolutely and it's like how big is that awning is that 12 feet with the led light yes it is what i'm getting at is we have show specialists standing by right now who will help answer those questions for you and walk you through what's going to be best for you if you're going to take something to the everglades you're going to take some off-roading maybe you want to go to texas and hit the gulf maybe you just want to park it down at the keys this is your chance to get your vacation home for you and your family I always remember that trip to Disney that my dad took in that little Scotty Class C because those are the moments that you, you can't make up. But when you have them with your family, they last a lifetime and you deserve it. You've earned it. Last year stunk, man. We're in 2021 now. It's time for you to get out. It's time for you to go golfing. It's time for you to go catch some sailfish off the coast of Florida. It's time for you to just get out and enjoy what's great about this beautiful key state down here. Go hit the keys. Go see America the safest way possible in your RV. This one starts at 124, 155, or as low as $24.34 a day. Where can you stay in something like this for 24 cents? for $24.34 a day. You really can't. You got a 100 wide, 100 inches wide, 12 feet, five inches high. And like I mentioned on the inside, this one's got that beautiful F53 chassis, that 7.3 liter V8, 445 cubic inches, 350 horses of rah, 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 love on the road. If you've been looking for something that drives like a Class C, the comfort of a Class A, and the affordability of a travel trailer, 
this Forest River FR332DS is a great option. Beautiful LED lights, heated mirrors. This one also has, get this, 159 cubic feet of storage underneath. Now I know being in Florida, I understand that the weather is usually rain with occasional periods of sun. So I'm gonna get our guys back under the awnings here as the inclement weather takes place at the Ultimate RV Show National Tour as we continue down here in Florida. Now, Florida this time of year, look at this anti-slam, got the seals on the latches there. I know down in Florida, there's a lot of shows going on, RV shows going on. You might be saying, well, Chris, we're going to a show. Well, the camping world, we wanted to do the Ultimate RV Show virtual. So not only can you buy and take delivery of your new RV from the comfort of your camp chair or from the comfort of your home without even having to worry about go and getting crowds or pay for parking tickets, pay for entry fees. Uh, we're also going to beat any deal at any show that you might think is better than what we have. This one, this is just one in our bunkhouse segments. Starting at $124,155 or as low as $24.34 a day. This is the Forest River FR3 32DS. You like this one? RV to 46642 or drop me a comment, RV. Or give us a call, 877-297-8725. But if you say, Chris, I'm going to this show, I think I got a better deal. I'm gonna beat it or give you $1,000 in cash, guaranteed. Just give me a chance. We're here in Florida for the Ultimate RV Show National Tour to show you how great we have it at Camping World and Gander RV and Outdoors. We have the largest inventory. We have over 80,000 factory fresh RVs coming. Do you have that at the shows? No, but we have it. And we're gonna beat those deals. Give me a chance. Just text BEAT to 46642 or drop me a comment down below. BEAT! Because whatever you think you got, you have no skin loss whatsoever if you give me a chance to beat it. And hey, thousand bucks in cash guaranteed if we can't, you get a thousand bucks. Just saying, you don't lose either way and you'll never lose with the Ultimate RV Show National Tour as it continues next with more big old bunkhouses. With the Camping World Best Price Guarantee, we'll beat any competitor price by $500 guaranteed or write you a check for $1,000. I will never lose a deal of a price, ever, and I guarantee it. Learn more today at CampingWorld.com. Sooner or later, everyone's bound to encounter someone in need. If you're one of the stopping kind, chances are it was passed down. Hey, Mom. Some good that you observed from early on. Call it going the extra mile or paying it forward. We just call it being good. Spend a lifetime doing good. Thank you. Because the next generation is watching. This is our big bunkhouse section. Thank you, Chris. And by the way, I'm telling you, absolutely beautiful. And as I look at my watch, you know what time it is, Bryce? Oh, it is time for another giveaway. Woo! We have I love over $250,000 worth of giveaways, but how do they win if they want to get registered? Yes, this is very, very important. To be eligible for these giveaways, you got to comment below URVS or text URVS to 46642. And that's how you get registered and eligible for these giveaways. Let's find out what we're giving away. You're going to love yeah. this. Woo. This is amazing. Look at this. Look at this, this whole is thing. absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> Kevin's going to get a good look for you. We're giving away. This is the PowerSport UT250 uh, UT yep. that Bryce just mentioned. And ladies, thank you so much. Nellie's driving. we got Tiffany in the passenger seat. And we have a winner. Yeah, you ready for this? James Hamlin. James Woo! Hamlin, I'll tell you what, James, you're going to love this. You're going to love the time you're going to get, the quality time you're going to get with your family on this one right here. And speaking of quality times, we're going to continue with our big bunk, bunkhouse section. And you're not going to believe what we have here, a bunk room that sleeps up to nine. Chris, can't wait to see it. Cheeseburger in paradise. Paradise. Oh, hey, Kev, what's happening? Uh, Ultimate RV Show National Tour. This segment is all about the big old bunkhouses as we are chilling down here in Florida because this time of year, there's lots of RV shows going on in Florida, but the Ultimate RV Show is really the only one you need to worry about because no matter where you're at, no matter what deal you think you're going to get, we will beat it. Just text BEAT to 46642 or drop me a comment down below. BEAT. We got 80,000 factory fresh RVs coming, man. I mean, 
I could easily go through you know, every single one, but that would take days upon days upon days. So instead, we're showing you some of the premier units that are new for 2021 that have come out to help you and your family go see America the safest way possible. The one that I'm standing in right now is the Jayco Eagle HT 29.5 BHOK, and it is way more than okay. This is a great bunk model that'll sleep nine people comfortably. Love the bunk room back here because of the way they designed, not only with the stair-step storage system that they have here that is even you know on the ball bearing slides but my 11 year old would fight to take that bottom bunk right there that is awesome a great design which jaco is known for i mean they're award-winning they've been doing things right for years and you got more lights back here than kim kardashian's makeup counter good grief it's beautiful entertainment and storage right here hooks right there this is the chill room or down here in florida we do all the fishing this is a fishing cabin that is a fisher's dream. You're looking at 35 feet roughly long, dry weight, 8,800 pounds, which means the HT series for Jayco can be towed by most half-ton trucks. You're looking at the best combination of a full profile and a mid-profile fifth wheel. You got lightweight of a mid-profile, but full features of a full profile. For example, easy to clean, beautiful flooring, carpetless slide over here. Upgraded luxury features not only in the accents all the way around this beautiful Jayco Eagle, but in the furniture and in the kitchen. And this one starts at $49,720 or as low as $11.91 a day. Yes, for your chance to get out and hit the Florida Keys or take the family to Disney World. Imagine when that opens back up, how great that's going to be. We have right here a 13 cubic foot fridge freezer combo that runs on both gas and electric. Look at the, oh, Kev. Oh, yeah, even in January, the Florida, yes, the humidity and the heat, but that's why I love it because you can get out, you can go hit the beach, you can go do things, you can golf, you can fish. You don't have to be stuck at home <laughs> like we've been for the last year. Wood panels on this beautiful Dometic fridge too. Got storage underneath, storage up top, solid surface countertop in this L-shaped kitchen here on the campsite. Undermounted farmhouse style sink, brush nickel with the high rise faucet sprayer. Comfortable, beautiful, large windows, LED accent lights, residential style sconces. I mean, you got a 35,000 BTU furnace, you got an AC with the quick cool. The, look, we could go through all those details for you, but at the end of the day, it's about showing you how great the RV lifestyle is. It's show season right now, and we're in Florida for week three. This is one of the best states in the world to visit for entertainment, for beaches, for just going and doing things with the family. Florida has it all. That's why we wanted to come down here. And you might be saying, Chris, we're at a show right now, and we're standing in a Jayco Eagle. Um, you know, they're saying that they can get it down to starting at $49,720 or as low as $11.91 a day. Uh, okay. I mean, we can do that too, but if they go down a little bit lower, we'll beat it or give you a thousand bucks in cash guaranteed. And all you got to do while you're at that other show, just text BEAT to 46642 or drop me a comment down below. BEAT. Beautiful solid wood cabinetry here. Love the residential style and appeal that Jayco puts in their RVs. Plus, we got wired for solar. They have 4G and LTE, Wi-Fi prep. I mean, it's just... Jayco has been one of the top selling manufacturers for years, and it's because of the attention to detail and the features that they put in all of their RVs. I'm a fan of their HT series of fifth wheels because they are towable by most half ton trucks. I mean, you're talking about 8,800 pounds dry. It's wonderful. Look at my flush mounted Furion AM FM command center with DVD, Bluetooth, HDMI. This also comes with the app, so you can control it from your app. 30 inch fireplace which can knock the chill off the air, multiple flame settings, multiple light settings. And Kev, check this out. Now, you like entertainment. Kev is a music man, you know. He likes music. He plays uh, the ukulele, which is really funny watching him play it because it looks like a giant holding a toothpick. But right here, this one comes with the Furion Lit, which is a removable speaker that's rechargeable. Put that in there and charge it up. And by the way, you got your dual USB ports as well to charge your phone. Got the Jayco Command System which is also great because you can control things from your cell phone, very futuristic, very innovative. And if you want the details on it, 
get one of our specialists to walk you through all the features that are going to help you pick the right one for you. What about the insulation? Where are you going to do the season? Because they have Climate Guard in here, which really can extend that four season camping. But where are you going to take it and what are you going to tow it with? Coming up here into the master bathroom, this is a pass-through bathroom, which if you've seen any of my reviews uh, in the past, I'm a big fan of the separation of space. It allows whoever's in the family to come use the bathroom and not disturb the people that are in the master. But solid surface countertop, undermounted sink. I even have a decorative backsplash here. And check out my medicine cabinet with the LED light going around the outside edge. Not only is it just very good looking to the eye, functional, it gives me more space. Neo angle shower here with the glass enclosure. You got plenty of space in there, man. You're not gonna be cramped at all. Plus the skylight gives me additional headroom, um, which is what I was talking about with the best of the full profile and the best of the mid profiles, is you get that space. Because up here in the, in the front cap, it can get a little tight with the mid profiles. But Jayco really maximized that space. Beautiful bed in here, angled. I like how they just really make sure they get the most space, but also the most use out of the space that you have without giving you a heavy fifth wheel. Mirrored wardrobe in the slide over here. Plus we got the little prep area, more storage. I mean, for a fifth wheel RV, plus we got corner notches on both sides. Uh, and the TV in the bunk room is also set up for 12 volt. So if you need a you know, CPAP machine or whatever for the kids back there, you have that. Got dual USB charging ports in here. Um, I mean, there's just so many features inside these Jayco Eagles. But we have show specialists standing by right now to help you pick out the one that's gonna be best for you. Check out the solid step over steps with the additional grab handle for safety and security, which is not only easy and solid, but if you take a look, the top step is a little bit bigger, which is pet friendly. So if you wanna take the furry friends with you along, great feature to have. It's heated and closed underbelly. I got my Furion external speakers there. Beautiful LED light strip on this large awning. Got the magnetics for my pass-through storage. If you're gonna take a look, we got the diamond plate in there. A lot of times with the pass-through storage, you get like the carpeted bottom or just the regular bottom. Gets dirty easily. I like this because it's rugged, but it's also useful. Even got my little tire pressure monitor right here. Features and functionality that you don't think about that Jayco does. But our people are standing by right now to walk you through some of those features. And you say, Chris, I love this one. This 29 and a half BH okay? It is more than okay. How do I get this one? Because you said it starts at 49720 or as low as $11.91 a day. Well, just text RV to 46642 or drop me a comment down below. RV. This one's roughly 8,800 pounds dry weight, 35 feet long, can sleep nine people comfortably. And take a look at my external kitchen. One of the nods I'm going to give to Jayco. Grace, see if you can get in here. Can you see this? Do you see this blue LED accent lighting? They have this everywhere. Yeah, exactly. Woo, it is beautiful. And down in Florida, imagine you pull this up to the golf course, right? You come back, if you're like me, you shot somewhere near 145. If you're like Jace, my buddy over here, you know, he's a five handicapper, lies a two handicapper, sandbags like crazy. He comes back, you know, he shot a 79, whatever it may be. You pull back up, you open up the giant fridge, which is corner angle to give you even more space. You got the burgers cooking right here on the Capitol Grill, which is radiant, that gives you more cooking space. Maybe you went fishing after golfing and you caught some beautiful mahi, whatever, and you're slicing it up and cleaning it up. I got my Furion lit right here. I'm playing the outside speaker. I'm enjoying the entertainment. And then all of a sudden you realize we're in Florida. We just got finished playing golf. We're reconnecting with loved ones. And it's something that we did not get a chance to do in 2020, but in 2021 we did because it's the year of RV travel and it's what you have deserved for yourself and for your loved ones. That's when it clicks. You're making memories. You're going, man, I got this one for as low as $11.91 a day. You can't even look at a golf course in Florida for $11.91. <laughs> I know some golf balls that aren't even $11.91. And I play with them cheapos that I steal from the driving range because I <laughs> suck. But this one starts at $49,720. Here you go, Kev. Get yourself a nice cold one. Ba-boom. Let, let me get my bourbon out the fridge. Ba-boom. 
It's about the RV lifestyle and it's about showing you that it's easily affordable, it's easily attainable. There are so many options out there with 80,000 factory fresh RVs coming, yours is waiting on you. So text FRESH to 46642 or drop me a comment down below FRESH or give us a call 877-297-8725. If you love this Jayco Eagle, maybe you have some questions about the 29 and a half BHOK, but you like the way that starting at 49,720 sounds, you say, Chris, how can I get this one? Well, since it is show season and the Ultimate RV Show is all about getting you the information virtually, we can have this delivered to you, paperwork sent to you. If you got a trade, we'll even pick it up and take it. You don't even have to leave your couch. And to do that, just text RV to 46642 or drop me a comment down below, RV. Then you might be saying, well, Chris, we are at one of the other shows in Florida and we like what you're saying. We, we think we got a pretty good deal. Uh, you've shown us Jayco's, you've shown us big bunkhouses. I know you got a lot more with 80,000 coming, but I think the deal that I got now is pretty good. Can you beat it? Not only will I beat it, if I don't beat it, I'll give you a thousand bucks in cash. Just text BEAT to 46642 or drop me a comment down below BEAT. It is show season and we are not going to be beat by any show in Florida. We're doing this safely and securely for you and there's a reason why all the people who have purchased from Camping World, over two million members in the Good Sam Club, are flooding our stores right now, stocking up. It's because they know 2021 is going to be the year they get out and do a whole lot more. So go do it with them. That's what the Ultimate RV Show National Tour is all about. And we, we got more coming from the beautiful state of Florida next. Ultimate RV Show National Tour. What's up, it's Chris Young. I am here in Fort Pierce, Florida at the brand spanking new Gander RV and Outdoors. Now, I am the self-anointed king of grilling, king of chilling. But when it comes to grilling, whether you're doing it at the campsite or you're going to do it at home, Gander RV and Outdoors has everything that you need from spicing and rubbing to making sure that you get it right. And by the end of this, I'm going to pass this along to you because I know you're going to be running to Gander RV and Outdoors or Camping World to find the right grilling essentials. Now, we've partnered up with Robert Irvine, who has given us some top quality, not only carriers, bottles, but cooking utensils and the whole nine. One of my favorite grills to take not only at the campsite, but also at home is this Blackstone right here because you get the best of both worlds. You get the flat top and you get the grill. You gotta have the Grilling World Essentials while you're going too. But as you can see, and this is just a small sample that you're gonna find at Gander RV and Outdoors and Camper World, but there are grills and smokers and cookers to fit every lifestyle and budget. Whether you're looking for something small like the Little Webers, you wanna upgrade and get some of the charcoal grills with the adjustable grates. You wanna get maybe one of the little smoke boxes like this. Be sure to stock up on all the essentials to make sure that you get the grilling process right. Oh, Chris, we didn't know that Camping World and Gander RV and Outdoors had all this stuff. There's a lot of stuff that you didn't know. That's why you need to come in and check us out. One of my favorites, the Camp Chef smokers that we have here. Now, this is a pellet smoker. We got Camp Chef, we have Traegers, we have Pit Boss. All you do, you load the pellets in there, smoke. This is great for doing multiple racks, whether you're doing briskets, chicken, ribs, whatever you want you're good to go. You like to do maybe the cast iron on the grill, get you some lodge cast irons, put it on your double burner. That's gonna attract a lot of people to your campsite. But as you can see, there are so many options to choose from, from portable tabletops, to pots, to single burners, to double burners, to my favorite versatile for the campers, the Coleman series. Now, we got the road trips, we got the tailgaters, we got the whole nine, and these are great not only because are they hook up to your propane tank and you got a ton of grilling space. When it's time to lock them up, they fold down. You can easily store these into your storage compartment. They're lightweight and can go with you practically everywhere. Now you're gonna need your propane tank as well when you do some grilling. Yes, we have propane and we do propane refills, not only for your RV, but for your grilling tanks as well come down for the rubs and sauces. I'm not gonna leave you hanging there either, man. Look, you gotta have the right thing. Whether you're doing sausage, whether you're doing beef, whether you're doing chicken, whether you're doing whatever, and you want jalapeno, you want salt and pepper, maybe you want the Hunter's Blend, one of my favorite chicken rubs, Jack Daniels right here. We also have some Traeger rubs that are out of this world that you can find. We got sauces, we got packs, we even got slow smoke chips that if you run out or if you just wanna make your regular gas grill, a little smoker, wrap this up in some aluminum foil after letting it soak for a little bit. Pro tip, put this in water for about 45 minutes to an hour with a little bit of bourbon in it. 
Let that soak in and pop it on your gas grill. Watch what happens as the smoke starts pouring. But you have so many options, so many things to choose from, whether you're doing it in the backyard or whether you're doing it at the campsite, we have something that's gonna be right for you. Grates, tag-alongs, we even got meat sauce. Because if you're gonna do that big brisket, why not have the meat saw with you? Because look, when I say big brisket, I mean big brisket. We're down here in Florida. We got briskets bigger than gators down here. And that's what you gotta have whether you're doing a campsite or whether you're doing it in the backyard. So, cooking in the kitchen, grilling outside at the campsite, grilling at home, everything that you need can be found at your local Camping World and Gander RV and Outdoors so that you can grill like a champ and roll like a pro so that when you're done, it's time to get back to the R&R, &R, which is also what we're known for. You get your hat, you get your rod, because when we're down here in Florida, you gotta catch the big ones, right? Look at that, hadn't even hit the water yet and I snagged me a beauty. Sit in my camp chair, I let my smoker smoke or I let my grill grill, and I stay the RV, relaxing, smoking, grilling, reigning supreme king, of everything. And you can too if you come to Camping World and Gander RV and Outdoors, especially during the Ultimate RV Show. Just text CAMP to 46642 and get your camping experience accelerated and started right now. Introducing RV123 by Camping World. The only way to buy and take delivery of your new RV all from the comfort of your couch or camp chair. To buy your new RV the easy way, just follow these simple steps. Step one, shop till you drop. Find your perfect RV online at CampingWorld.com and schedule a live virtual walkthrough with one of our RV specialists. Step two, make it mine. Discuss financing options over the phone with a Camping World finance expert. All paperwork handled via mail. Prepaid envelopes are provided. Step three, let's go camping. Take delivery of your new RV at your home or campsite. Our certified delivery specialist will provide the same high quality walkthrough that you would receive at a Camping World dealership. There's a whole new way to buy an RV. Get your RV the easy way with RV123 by Camping World. From sunup to sundown, we are designing your next big adventure, building your family vacation, delivering your memories that will last a lifetime. We know it's more than just an RV which is why we are working around the clock to bring over 80,000 RVs fresh from the factory to our stores, to your driveway or campsite. Built by Americans for Americans and starting at less than $5 per day. Click, call, or visit your local Camping World today. Okay, you're saying, Chris, you're showing us big bunkhouses. We've seen some fifth wheels. We've seen some motorized. What about a travel trailer? I got you covered. National Tour Ultimate RV Show. We are in Florida and I am standing inside the 2021 Forest River Wildwood 31 KQ BTS because right now we're going to light it up like dynamite. Oh, 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 yeah, I know. Sorry. Sorry if I got that song stuck in your head, but trust me, the beauty of this unit is going to get it right out. We have opposing slides here in the bunk room, which is dominating the rear of this RV. Dual ACs as well. And if we take a look, not only do we have the beautiful cabinetry, we got a mirrored wardrobes on both sides, entertainment center on both sides, but the versatility and the functionality of this RV is really what makes it stand out. Now, 39 or excuse me, 36 feet long, roughly 8,500 pounds, can easily sleep eight people, starts at 34,915 or as low as $8.36 a day. And you're saying, okay, Chris, yeah, that's cool. You got a double over bunk here with the dual USB charging ports. You got the flip up bunk there that doubles as a big old couch when it's down. You know, we've seen it. We've seen double bunks before. Well, sure you have, but have you seen the Versa Queen? Aha, check this out. We move these cushions, which obviously set up for the couch. You set it there, use it as a pillow if you want to, or use your own pillow. That's, that's your bunk style. But check this puppy out. Bada bing all day long, right there in your Key West face with the Key Lime Pie. What you gonna do with that? Whatever you want to, because it is a camp queen bed. You got the bunk over there. And if you're thinking about the fishing, 
if you're thinking about the hunting, if you're thinking about, you know, coming down here to Florida, we got, you know, the kids' baseball team, they want to come with us when we go to Disney World, or they want to come with us when we go check out the Everglades. You have options and functionality there that you don't have in a lot of campers, and that's Forest River's calling card. Not only have they added so many features, so many designs and upgrades to 2021, the versatility stands out like crazy. For example, check this out. Under the storage, you got storage boxes. You have that here in the U-shaped dinette, which is also the Versa Lounger. This comes up and out, so you can make it a regular booth if you want to. You can make this a chaise lounge if you want to. This is your jackknife sofa, and even more storage underneath here. You got three of these, and the beautiful part about it, set these up, put that on the floor in the bunk room. Guess what you got? You got yourself a little versatile table for the kids to use when they want to play. Maybe they want to do games. Maybe you want to keep the toys or the fishing gear. Or you want to put those private golf balls that you paid $900 a box for, but they're not going to help you shave off any strokes on your game. I know. I tried. And no, I'm not taking lessons. I know how to play. This beautiful slide here really opens up the living area. You got your U-shaped dinette, that's your reconnection point. Some of the largest in-class windows that you're gonna find in an RV or in these wild woods. I love them because they're lightweight. They're entry-level price too. This one starts at $34,915 or as low as $8.36 a day. For a camper that's roughly 8,600 pounds dry, 36 feet long, 36 and a half, can sleep eight, Come on, man. You got the 12-volt Everchill fridge right here, which is also vibration smart and frost resistant. Fridge freezer combo, love it. Flush mounted burner. Look at the pressed solid surface countertop, the undermounted farmhouse style sink, the sprayer nozzle, the fireplace that we have over here in the entertainment center, the sound bar built in, the beautiful rustic style here of the farm cabin with the TV backer. We have so many features and amenities in 2021 RVs that we could spend days going through them with you, talking about all the storage, talking about everything, showing you the bathrooms like this one right here. Look at that herringbone pattern, which continues from the floor all the way up into the walk-in residential style shower with the large skylight. You got the mirrored medicine cabinet right there, plenty of countertop space, plastic bowl with the foot flush. I mean, look. At the end of the day, it's about you finding the RV that's right for you. Making sure that you can take your loved ones out to see America the safest way possible, which is going to be in an RV. We didn't get to do as much of it in 2020 as we wanted to. So 2021 is the year of RV. If I want frosted glass inlays, if I want storage compartments here in the master, if I want some cubby holes, and I want to... Just enjoy where I'm going. But this might not be the right one for you. With over 80,000 factory fresh units coming, we got one that is. All you gotta do is text FRESH to 46642. Drop me a comment down below. FRESH, say, Chris, I like this. That's got enough bucket storage for me to put my Imelda Marco style shoe collection in. You absolutely can. Or. Just do whatever you want. That's the great thing about the Wildwood, the versatility, and this pass-through storage is accessible from under the bed. So if you want to set a laundry basket down there, chuck your stuff, boom, there you go. You have options, options, and versatility. We even have cubby storage over there in the back. Or you might be looking at this one and you're saying, Chris, we have been thinking about going to Disney World. We have been thinking about going to the Everglades. You know, we, we love to golf, we love to fish, we love going to the beach. Um, but we don't like the hassle of finding hotels, of booking the travel. And this 31 KQBTS looks great for us. How do we get this one? Starts at 34,915 or as low as $8.36 a day. Sleeps eight, 8,573 pounds, 36 and a half feet long. You want this one? All you gotta do is text RV to 46642 or drop me a comment down below RV. Now, it is Florida. We are in the season of shows. And I'm also in the season where down here, it's warm and beautiful. So you need to get out and you need to see Florida. Or if you're down here, you need to get out and see more of Florida because I know there's some spots you wanted to go to you didn't get a chance to go to. Now's your chance. But 
since it is the season of shows, you might be saying, Chris, we're at another show. Um, but we're watching the Ultimate RV Show National Tour because you know what? We, we don't really want to pay for parking. We don't really want to pay for an entry fee and go to where there's a bunch of crowded people. Uh, and I hear that, you know, Camping World and Gander RV and Outdoors, the stores are getting flooded. Well, they are. I mean, we've got over 2 million Good Sam members who are hitting the stores and stocking up to get ready to go camping in 2021. That's the sense of urgency. That's why we have over 80,000 factory fresh RVs coming. So you can have something to pick out and go join them in 2021 to see America the safest way possible. Hopefully this is all kind of making sense a little bit now. Forest River Wildwood, I like the graphics package. Large awning with the LED light strip. We also have the Accessibelly under here. What does that mean? Well, it's a heated and enclosed underbelly, but it's separate panels. So if you do need to get to the water tanks or if you need to do some repair work, you can only take one panel off. You don't have to worry about rolling out the whole thing. But man, I want you to check out what I'm calling the Chris Station. We got the Everchill fridge right here. My little dorm style fridge. I got hooks to hang my cooking and grilling utensils. I got suspension net right here to put whatever I want. Maybe it's my barbecue seasonings. Maybe it's my whatever. And oh, by the way, you remember all them storage bins on the inside? Grayson. Come on, man. They put storage compartments that OCD in me is doing backflips right now. Oh my goodness, I'm loving it. I got the steel plating for my countertop here to do some clean and prep work. I got my GFCI outlet. If I want to set up a TV, I could clean off the fish that I just caught off the coast because we decided to take this camper and use it as the guy's trip to go offshore fishing for a couple of days. And I don't want to pay that outrageous price of staying in a hotel to do it. But Chris, what are you going to cook it on? My grill that comes with this 31 KQ BTS, which, oh, by the way, is on an adjustable swivel. I see you. I see you smiling. It's Look, it's okay. It's okay to smile. It's 2021. Look, get the love out, man. Get the love out. This is your RV. We even have the strong arm to help my stabilizer jacks there, spare tire mounted on the back, arch ceilings, backup camera prepped, outside whatever you want to do look move this around oh hang on the smoke's getting too close to the kids let's back it up versatility i talked about versatility and functionality on the inside it also continues to the outside step above solid steps with the extra top which just means extra wide on the top so it's pet friendly good for the furry friends got the extra large friction hinge door solera arm uh solera arm awning with the adjustable pitch and check out my pass through storage now, you remember I mentioned this is accessible from the master. It's right there. Diamond plated rock guard, seamless super flex roof, twin 30 pound LP tanks, powered tongue jack. Look, there are so many features on this camper that I, I would spend literally days going through everything for you. But just know this, every year the manufacturers get a little bit better. They add a little more feature. They do a few more things to make it lighter, to make it more affordable. And with Forest River, the way they manufacture is great anyway. They reduce and reuse, not only to shrink their carbon footprint, but to be able to pass savings along to you. It's actually a pretty nice little combo. And oh, by the way, if you want solar panels, we got the solar quick amp set up on this one too. Let our factory specialists, let our show specialists walk you through the features that are gonna be right for you. With 80,000 factory fresh RVs coming, you're gonna have questions about what's right, where you're gonna take it, how you're gonna tow it, what are you gonna tow with, that you need to have someone answer for you with a, with a conversation. We've had 150 plus stores, some of the best people on the planet that have been standing by waiting for you to reach out and say, 2021 is the year of RV travel. They're down in Florida. I wanna go check out some stuff down there. Maybe I'm in Florida and I wanna take a trip over to NASA in Houston. I wanna go around the Gulf and see Kingsport, go down to Corpus Christi. I wanna go from the Keys to Corpus Christi. Oh my God, what a dream trip that would be. And you can do it starting at $34,915 or as low as $8.36 a day for this 2021 Forest River Wildwood 31 KQBTS. Sleeps eight, 8,600 pounds dry weight, 36 and a half feet long. If this is the one for you, drop me a comment down below RV or text RV to 46642. Now, if you say, Chris, I like it, but with 80,000 coming, eh, what else you got? 
Text FRESH to 46642 or drop me a comment down below FRESH. If you're at one of these other shows in Florida, one of the ones that doesn't matter, <laughs> because, you know, hey, we're doing it virtual for you. Just saying, we'll beat whatever they have there. So if you think you got a good deal, text BEAT to 46642 or drop me a comment down below BEAT. Or a thousand bucks cash is coming your way if I don't beat it. Speaking of coming your way, more good stuff with the Ultimate RV Show National Tour next. Camping World is the one-stop shop for all your outdoor essentials. Shop chairs and side tables starting at only $9.99. And patio lights starting at $10.99. Grills for only $9.99? Who knew travel could be so easy? Your vacations just got a little brighter, a little tastier, and a little cozier. See America for less when you shop at Camping World. I love that Forest River Wildwood, especially with in the back back bunk room, the entertainment center there. So you gotta, it's all sectioned off. Again, like the separation is a big thing for us now that we have kids. Yeah, <laughs> I, I kind of wish we had that one because the kids back there, oh man, that could be so nice. Uh -huh. Yeah, super nice. And guys, there's a lot of different models. If you have questions, if it'll fit your lifestyle or what might be best for your needs with the party you're traveling with, again, just a reminder, text RV to 46642. We got RV specialists waiting to answer any questions to help you find out what might be the best model for you and your travels. Yeah, and we're actually really excited about this next segment. Segment We are doing travel trailer toy haulers, yeah. which we have a fifth wheel toy hauler, and it has been amazing. So we're really excited about this next segment. We are going into the Keystone Outback. Oh, man, that side deck and that front bunk. So excited. Let's go ahead and check that out right now. With a slide-out king bed and a front-loading toy hauler, the Outback 240 URS is a very unique floor plan. Folks, this one comes in at 28 foot 3 inches, right around 5,200 pounds dry. And again, it's, it's very unique, right? It, it's something you don't normally see. It's in a, a line that doesn't have a lot of toy haulers to begin with, the Outback Ultralight. But the ones they have are very cool. And this is one of them, and I, I, I really wanted to show it. And so, here we are. So starting off, like I said, you have a slide-out king bed right up here. This is your sleeping space. The neat thing about this is when you close it up, it gives you a lot smaller footprint, which is great when you're traveling, right, pulling into certain places. If you don't want to push this out, you don't have to, but you can, and it gives you that extra space. Uh, and you will see that you have the cabinets up top there for some extra storage, light windows all the way around. Just a really cool, unique system. Again, something you'll see in like, uh, some hybrids, but you never see it in a toy hauler. So you have that. And then right down next to it is your jackknife sofa. This, of course, folds down into a small little sleeping space. Uh, but, you know, it's a great uh, seating area. And I love the fact that it's right across from the dinette. So, you know, if you have some guests, you know, you can sit here. You can have excellent conversation here in the dinette, there on the sofa, you know, just kind of carrying on. Or if, even if it's just two of you, right? You know, you can have someone here in the dinette and on the sofa, and you're still good. Plus, the TV, you have a great viewing angle right up there to the TV. You can see it's kind of on an angle. They mounted it that way intentionally. So that way, whether you're here in the dinette, you're sitting in the sofa, or you're laying in bed, any of these spots, you still have a great shot to that TV. So uh, as far as the design itself, even though it's unique, I think that they did an awesome job. You'll also, of course, notice that the dinette has a window. And if you've seen me, you've watched me before, you know that I love this because this is the site that I want. Not necessarily out to another RV, but you know, if we were out actually uh, camping or in the woods or whatever, uh, you know, if we're at a campsite, I get to see my campsite, which I really enjoy. If we're, you know, out in the woods, I get to see nature right here. I get to enjoy that, you know, the, the beautiful, gorgeous landscape, or maybe it's a big lake or the ocean front. I get to see it here while I'm sipping on my morning coffee, you know, having my breakfast. And, and that is one of the, one of the many, many reasons I love camping is because, you know, you get to see those views. And if it's cold out, maybe you're doing a little bit of, uh, you know, cold weather camping. Maybe you're camping late in the fall. You want to do a color tour. I can sit here all bundled up in you know my snuggie sipping on some hot cocoa enjoying uh, all the colors that I am able to see now when I stand up folks I'm six foot tall you'll see I have plenty of head space and that's thanks to this big barreled ceiling that they use here in the Outback Ultralight something else you will notice is these uh and maybe maybe you won't but that's why I'm here to tell you about it is these uh the different covers on the vents and that's because this is actually a different uh, vent system that Keystone brought out. They kind of did it under the radar. They haven't, there hasn't been too much buzz about it. 
Uh, but it is awesome. This is the Blade system. And with the Blade AC system, it is more powerful and quieter than the standard AC. They do some proprietary things with the ductwork and with the covers right here. Uh, and, and I forget exactly what the numbers are, but I'm telling you, it is insane like these are almost as quiet as like the whisper quiet ac that you see in the montanas uh plus the power they push through them the way they design it is phenomenal so what that gives you is uh, a quieter ac plus a more efficient and quicker cooling ac which is awesome especially in a small unit like this wonderful wonderful thing to have now as we start to move toward the front because of course we're at the back of the rv here Nice big pantry. If you take a look at that, excellent pantry space. You have uh, the shelf, and maybe you know, maybe you don't use this as pantry. Maybe you use it for clothes because you know you don't have a ton of space up there. And if you don't want to go to the garage to get your clothes, uh, you put them right in here, right? Good clothing space, good pantry space, whatever you want to use it for. You have the 12 volt uh, compressor driven refrigerator right there. So a little bit of solar, a couple batteries, and this bad boy is good to go. She's running strong. Right over across the way is our uh, the rest of our kitchen. So as far as countertop, you get some prep space right there, which is great. High-rise pull-out faucet. So, you know, nice feature to have, especially for this price point. You will see that the, uh, the sink top cover, you know, this is a drying rack, kind of rolls over to the side just like so. You have the undermount, or not undermount, sorry. Well, you do have the undermount sink, but you have what I was gonna say is the recessed cooktop here with the glass cover. That gives you more prep space. Your knobs light up if you're into that oven underneath some more storage right there uh, plus take a look at this folks underneath the sink if you know me you know i love that right there is a trash can and you have enough room for a bigger trash can if you want a bigger one in there drawers all down right there more storage up here microwave hood over to the side is the bathroom excuse me i do like the doors that they put on uh here i'll have you swing around see if we can't Take a peek in the bathroom. There we go. Uh, so just to kind of give you an idea of space, I'll walk in here, open this up. Got the mirrored medicine cabinet. I got plenty of room here. Porcelain bowl, which makes it super easy to clean. Uh, as far as the space itself for my legs, I got more than enough. For my shoulders, it's a little tight, right? You know, I mean, I'm a decent sized guy. I weigh 220, six foot tall. Um, you know, I, I do rub a little bit, but it, as you can see, you know, even with the door shut, you know, I still have pretty decent space there as long as you throw your arm up on the sink, good to go. Uh, good countertop space too. You can see that goes all the way over as far as shower. Now they put a skylight in here. I'm glad they did. I'm six foot tall. I can probably be slightly taller. You know, maybe, maybe six one. I think six two, you'd probably be a little bit too tall, but six one, you should be good in here. You won't have to duck down. Uh, you know, nice, easy to use hand wand there too. And then, um, you know, as we, as we head out, we'll take a look at the garage. And as I mentioned, this is a front garage. So we'll walk right up here and take a look at this. Now, now there's a couple of things when it comes to front garages, right? Um, and, and it's kind of a give and take. So you, you're able to get really cool floor plans like we have back there, where like you have a slide out bed. And so that's what gives you, you know, allows you this front garage space. And you can get really creative with it. Now, one of the things about the front garage, kind of one of the negatives, and, and the reason it's not quite as popular overall, I would say, is because it does add to your tongue weight more, right? When you're talking about, you know, weight distribution, um, if you're toying with a little bit lighter vehicle, and this one, you know, like I said, it's right around 5,200 pounds dry. So maybe you just have a big S SUV that you're towing with. So if you have a bunch of toys and stuff up here, um, you know, like uh, whether it's quads or motorcycles or whatever it may be, that weight will affect your tongue weight a little bit more. So just bear that in mind. And that's, again, that's one of those things here at Camping World we know, folks. Um, you know, if you're looking for some advice on toy haulers, what works for you? Maybe, you know, you like the idea of a toy hauler, but you want something else, that's great. We're here. All I have to do is text FRESH to 46642 and we'll be able to help you out with the over 100,000 pieces of inventory we have on the lot and coming in stock. And trust me, even I know that's a ton of inventory, but I'm telling you, a lot of it's going to be gone. So you'd certainly want to jump on it now. If you are an experienced RVer, you know that, which is why you've been in the stores, you know, getting the, getting the jump on it, right, before the crowd hits. Uh, if you take a look up front, you also see there's a bunk up here, which is cool. So 150 pound bunk right there. You know, nothing huge, right? It's not a big bunk, but it's perfect for a kiddo. You know, you got a little one that wants to jump up here. Awesome. I know my five-year-old, she loves nothing more than bunk beds. This is a crazy story. Uh, I took her to Great Wolf Lodge, and, and this was, you know, some time ago. Um, but we went up there, and we were super excited. She's four and a half, roughly, at the time. And, uh, you know, after we were all done, we spent three nights there. And I said, honey, you know, what was your favorite part about Great Wolf Lodge? You know what she told me? The bunk beds. 
Like, really? All, all that? That's all I had to do? Just got to just gotta do some bunk bed action? Uh, but, you know, it, it was cool. You know, she, she's happy. And that's, that's the thing about kiddos, though. You know, you got the top bunk, got the bottom bunk. Kids love it. You'll see uh, storage space right here. So I talked about having clothes, right? This is where you can house them right there. You got plenty of space for your clothes up there. More down below. But as I said, if you don't want them in the garage, you can have them other places. Uh, side loading ramp door right here. You have some feet so you can fold that all the way out. Thousand pound capacity right in here as well. D rings all the way around. This one is really designed uh, either for like an office space, for extra sleeping space, or because of the door there, obviously, for like motorcycles. Uh, that really is what the 240 is all about. You can drive up a you know a motorcycle or two in there. You're good to go. It's perfect for you know really just uh, going everywhere you want to go and uh, you know in in style and in in luxury. You know I mean, this is Outback is no joke. Like they make some really nice RVs. You know the ultralight here. Again, you can pick this one up starting at thirty thousand dollars and uh, thirty thousand sixty five bucks or seven dollars and twenty cents a day. That's very reasonable for what you're getting. Uh, power tongue jack right here. So this makes it a lot easier to hook up and disconnect from your tow vehicle. You got your propane tanks there, three quarter front cap. Now, if you like the, some of the amenities you saw in the Outback, but maybe you just want something a little bit nicer. Uh, what I wanna show you guys is not, not the ultralight, but take a look right over here. Outback itself, this is the Outback line. They make toy haulers as well, right? The ultralight's a little bit lighter weight. The Outback here is a step up into luxury. You'll get the full front cap. You know, you get uh, auto level. This is an auto level system. You know, so if, if you like some of the amenities, but you're like, you know what, I just want my toy hauler just one step up. And you maybe want something a little bit bigger. They're available in the, the Keystone Outback line. We can, uh, we can help you out with that. Again, all you have to do is text the word fresh. Now, if this is the one for you, you love this one, that's where you're gonna text the word RV. Right, so that, that's that same number, that 46642. We'll be able to hook you up, help you out. You see you have some storage right there, power stabilizer jack, so power tongue jack, power stabilizer jacks, power awning, trying to make life nice and easy on you. As we make our way back, I want to talk about one other thing. Let's say you've been out shopping, right? You see something, you've seen it on this show, maybe you've seen it on the lot, and you're like, I love this. Um, you know, I, I, I feel like I got a good price. Let me tell you a little something. Folks, here at Camping World, we will not be beat. If you have another deal that you have going, all you have to do is text the word BEAT, B-E-A-T, to that 46642. You can upload the deal right there, and we will beat that deal, or we'll give you a thousand bucks cash. So here's the thing. If you're watching this and you just, you know, and you're, you're, you're working with something right now, you have this deal, it's pending, why wouldn't you, right? Just text BEAT, send it in. Worst case scenario, you still get it from our competitor and you have $1,000 in your pocket to play. Why wouldn't you do it? It just makes sense. Best case scenario, we save you a whole bunch of money. So here you go, folks. So this is the main entrance. You know, you have the, the grab handle, the steps going up. You see that front loading ramp. If you want a TV outside, you can have that too. You have the, uh, the power awning on here. So that's above the TV, all your hookups, outside shower, rocking and rolling, ready to go. Um, it, it, folks, there's a lot of different toy haulers out there. There's some lightweight ones, right? You know, we're, we're going, we've gone over uh, this one here, a couple in this segment, a couple of bigger ones. You can get into fifth wheels, just huge variation. Let us help you out. Uh, like I said, folks, all you have to do is text that word FRESH. We'll, we'll help you out. Maybe you're a phone person. I'm a phone person. You can call 877-297-8725, and we'll have a specialist be able to talk to you. Or if you're in the area, come on out to a dealership, folks. Maybe you can hit us up for the national tour. I always say I'm a pretty friendly guy. You know, I'll, I'm going to be safe. I'll be wearing my mask, but, you know, I'll bump elbows with you. I'll take pictures with you. We can hang out. You know, I'll, I'll shoot the breeze with you for a little bit. Come on by. We'll make sure you're safe. Hand sanitizer ready. Lots of stuff in store. Demand for RVs is at historic levels, which is why we are working around the clock to bring you over 80,000 factory fresh RVs. That's the largest selection of RVs in the world, fresh from the factory to our stores, to your driveway or campsite. RVs are made by Americans for Americans. And now you can see America for less. Shop over 80,000 factory fresh RVs, starting at just $5 a day. Click, call, or visit your local Camping World or Gander RV and Outdoors today.
Ultimate RV Show National Tour. This segment all about the stabilization. What's up, guys? Got Nelly, Tiff, Caleb. Okay, mm -hmm. you guys live the RV life. How yep. important is it that your unit be level and stable? Well, you don't want to sleep with your head down. <laughs> right. That'd be, that'd be asking for a massive headache when you wake up. So sure. I tell people you need two things in life if you want to be successful at RV. Okay. One, you got to get yourself a, a partner. Okay. Be there to right. stabilize you. Okay. Uh, sure. Okay. Bring it back and to then center. you got to yeah. also <laughs> get yourself a good set of locks to yes. lift you up when you're down. Yes. Oh yeah. my gosh. You know what? As <laughs> as punny as that is. It works because he's absolutely right. It's true. It's absolutely There's right. Nothing worse than sleeping with your head down yeah. or your head up. And blankets are falling off. And you, and you know, not every campground is going to be level. Not everyone's going to be, you know, completely flat. And, uh, and you know, Tiff, you know better than anybody. You know, when you're talking about stabilization and leveling out, there's an order. Absolutely. There's definitely an order. And you want to use your leveling blocks and anything that's going to keep you actually level first because the stabilizers aren't actually meant to hold the weight and level your rig right. you're there to really just stable stabilize your rig so you're not swaying mm -hmm. left and right, um, right or front and backwards so definitely the blocks huge fan we talk about it all the time um they're super easy to use um yeah and we love it. well uh, what you said earlier you for a hot minute there people confuse jacks and stabilizers yes, yes. yeah that's mm -hmm. a big difference yeah and so i actually confuse that I was confused for a while too. <laughs> so there I do it is during a difference. Reviews sometimes too. I do it during reviews. I'm like, oh, you got your leveling jacks right there. No, it's stabilizer jacks. Yeah, <laughs> no, exactly. And I love that there's so many different options. We've got the blocks. Yep. We've got the ones that are right under the rig. We've mm -hmm. got ones that help the tires not shift. And then you got one right under the hitch, which you said was the weakest part well, of the for, fifth wheel, yeah, right? Yeah, for the fifth wheel, you know, if, if you're going to be setting up for a long time, having one of these, I think, is imperative. Because that's where most of the weight's going to be, especially when you're sleeping yeah. at night. So having something like this is really going to help with and that stability. And that's just a tripod that goes... You get hooks right under the fifth wheel hitch. Oh, yeah. that's awesome. really neat. Yeah, so there, there's, to there's tons of options from, you know, being able to organize and stack and move yep. around to, to match the terrain and what you need to get level and stable, to having something sturdy, to having something that's not ratchet but can ratchet. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you guys hey right now. Yeah. Hey oh, I got you with the punnies right there. <laughs> I've been practicing that this morning. <laughs> so if you want to find out more about any RV stabilization, just text CAMP to 46642 or drop us a comment down below. CAMP. Now, as the Ultimate RV Show National Tour continues, I'm so glad to see my buddy Ian. Yes, Ian. We're able to do this together. And he's got a GeoPro coming up here after commercials that I think you're going to love with the Ultimate RV Show National Tour. Travel with peace of mind. Good Sam Roadside Assistance covers your cars, RVs, motorcycles, and all eligible family members. Unlike the competition, we offer unlimited distance towing, free roadside tire delivery, and coverage in all of North America. It's no wonder top consumer reviews ranked us number one. With plans as low as $5.50 a month, you can't afford to get stuck without it. Coming in at 20 foot and right around 3,400 pounds dry is all, with a 1,500 pound carrying capacity is the 2021 GeoPro 19TH. Folks, I love this little toy hauler. If you're looking for something that's lighter weight, you know, a little bit shorter, easy to tow, maybe you're using it for a hunting cabin, right, or, or you know, home base. You have enough, you want enough room for a quad? This is it, you can pull it in, pull it out when you get there, you have great seating. You know, maybe you're using it for a couple motorcycles and you just need something for home base. This again is an excellent option. You have sleeping right here in the form of two jackknife sofas. You can drop both of those down right there. Got yourself an excellent bed. And as far as seating space, take a look at this. I can easily fit three to four people on each side. So again, you know, you want, a, you want a place to sit down, hang out, play games. You have the table right here. Everyone can eat a meal, uh, you know, and, and then when you're done, or when you're you know ready to load back up, you just fold the sofas up, move the table out of the way, pull your bikes, pull your quad back in. You have D rings all the way around. You're good to go. You can see here now. You know we're backed up to the road. It's a little loud, but as you can see, you can really enjoy the beautiful view here out the back. Uh, the screen, you know, is uh, nice and easy to to take off. You want to take that off, but you also have a zipper right in the center, so you can just unzip it and walk right out. Walk in, nice and easy to use. The beaver tail there just flips right up. 
but I personally love this, right? Have the door open with the screen. You have this screen here, bugs aren't coming in, and you are sitting here really just loving nature. I, I think this is just way too cool. Uh, as far as you know, the rest of the functionality, of course, just like a normal toy hauler, you have your vents. So you know, if you fire anything up in here, you can vent it out, especially in a smaller one like this. Uh, it's especially important because you know, you'll be sleeping in this garage area, but because it is a little bit smaller, it'll vent out super quickly. And again, folks, the weight, as I said, dry, this thing's only about 3,400 pounds. So even if you can you know, tow uh, like 5,000 pounds, depending on what you put in here, you can still haul this one around, which is pretty fantastic. You know, if you, that's some of those like mid-size SUVs, like a, a Kia Sorento when properly equipped, can tow 5,000 pounds. Pretty darn cool. Taking a look up top, beautiful woodwork. Uh, you know, it's a lot lighter than what we see in a lot of toy haulers. A lot of times they use a darker wood. Um, I personally like that it's lightened up. You have the brush nickel pulls. Because it is rockwood, right? You're you get those nice features like your, um, you know, like the shades right here. You know, I love having roller shades over pleated. You can see that, you know, they're a little bit lighter color too, which not only go with the woodwork, but also, you know, when you close it up, especially in a smaller camper like this, if these were to be black, it would get really dark in here. You know, if you have dark cabinetry, you have the black blackout shades, all of a sudden it's dark and they knew that. So they went lighter cabinets. They went with, you know, your lighter roller shades, they went with lighter furniture, a little bit lighter flooring, still all easy to clean but it makes it feel bigger. You have the barreled ceiling, again, giving you that extra space. It's well lit. You have two rows of lights in a camper this size. Folks, most manufacturers would run one row down the center and call it good, but not in a Rockwood, not in a Geo Pro. They put in two rows of lights, make sure everything was nice and bright in here. Uh, so I, I definitely you know, give them a tip of the hat for that. I think they did an excellent job. As we make our way through, and again, you know, you can move the table if you want to take this outside so you can get, you know, in and out from the ramp easier. You can do that. You can fold it up and slide it underneath the, uh, you know, one of the sofas. That works too. You can see right here, this one does come with uh, a griddle right there. You can take that outside. Uh, so, you know, if you want to hook it up outside, do some cooking, comes with it. Super simple and easy. Something else that I love is this right here, folks. This one comes with a roof mounted AC, 13.5 kBTU. You want to talk about cooling it off in a hurry? Uh, this AC in an RV this size will—it'll freeze you out if you if you keep it up too high. That is a, a big AC unit for this camper. TV here, you know, if you want to watch some TV, good to go. Multimedia center right there. This one does have the Wi-Fi Ranger as well, uh, so you you get that Wi-Fi booster on there, so that you know if you need to stay connected, you have the capability to do it. Refrigerator. This one does run off of both propane and electric, and it has automatic switchover, which is pretty awesome for being a fridge this size. Plus, you get this guy right here, the drop-down freezer compartment. So if you need to freeze anything, you have the ability to do that as well. Now, moving up front, uh, as in, and again, you can see, as I said, this one's a little bit shorter. So your main sleeping area, as we talked about, will be the garage. But in this one, you still get a full-service kitchen as well as the bathroom. So for the kitchen itself, Look at this prep space you get. You get a ton of prep space here, as well as um, you know a good space right over here for like a coffee maker, blender, whatever else you want to set there. Um, and the reason I love that is because again, in something this size, you don't expect it. Now, it, part of that is because they give you a single bowl sink. Um, you know, if to, to go with a double bowl, you know, it would have been a little bit, um, you know, like not longer. I guess I don't know what you call it. Depth, a little deeper. I don't know, that's sink depth, I don't know. Either way, uh, you just don't have a lot of countertop space here, so they went with the single. But if you take a look over on this side, look at this, they still give you a huge recessed three burner cooktop, right? So you still get plenty of space, you get that full three burner. You have the big cover on here, so you can use this as prep space as well if you want to. You have storage right up top as well as here. So, you know, you have pretty decent storage in a uh, relatively small kitchen. Plus you have plenty underneath, as you can see, and a convection microwave oven. So, you know, you want to microwave a burrito or something, you can do it. You want the oven, boom, there you go. That is a convection oven, uh, cooks nice and quick, easy to clean, the whole nine. Now, as I talked about with the coffee maker, with that in the corner, you can see this, that is your power tower. This does drop down. There's a little red button, you can push that and it drops down whoop, just like that. But when you want it, 
boom, pop up, pull it up. Now you can plug everything in. You have USB ports on there. You have your standard 120 volt. You can plug it in. You're rocking and rolling. LED lights here in the kitchen as well. Again, you know what? I think, yeah, say we're missing one. There we go. Even though it's a smaller space, it's so well lit. They did a great job helping to, you know, give that feeling of being larger. Something else I really like, I know this is super minor, but I love when manufacturers do little touches like this, right? A bottle opener, they, they know me. I want to be able to pop a bottle open nice and easy. Boom, there we go. You'll also see right here, you have your, um, your solar controller built in. They expect you to take this out, you know, uh, in the wilderness, out in the woods. And when you go outside, you'll see, you know, it has big lug tires on there. Um, they want you to be able to get out, and so that's why they have the solar power on there, so that you're able to trickle charge those batteries when you are out and about. If we take a look at the bathroom, you know, I'll show you some bathroom space. A couple things in here, too. So you have mirrored medicine cabinet, plenty of storage in there. Right down below, big countertop. I love how much the countertop extends. Plus, you have storage with the nets, of course, your toilet. You know, a little bit more up here, spot for some toothbrushes, an electric outlet for, you know, hair dryer, curling iron. I have a uh, powered toothbrush, so I need to charge that. You know, same thing with the razor. Um, you know, I have a beard trimmer, so I have to plug that in. Take a look at the fan, folks. You know, you want to talk about nicer things that they put in here. You know, this is a Rockwood Geo Pro. So they put in nice things like this big fan right here so that, you know, when you're done showering, it gets the moisture out real quick. Or, you know, if you have a, a buddy that comes over and he ate some of those microwave burritos we were talking about, you want to get that smell out, right? So that's what, uh, that's what that fan will help with. All right, hold on. Got, got some things caught. There we go. Stepping into the, the tub shower, uh, as far as height, you know, I, I'm six foot. You can see I do need the skylight, right? It's, it's a little tight without it. I'm kind of bumping my head here, but with it, I am able to stand up. If you're much taller, if you're six one, you're probably going to be touching the top. If you're any taller than that, you'll have to duck down. But again, for uh, something this size, that's really good. Now, you're not going to be able to see it because it's, it's a little tight. Maybe you can, but there's a little blue elbow right here. Okay, and that is the shower miser system. And uh, what that essentially is, is they're trying to, because they know you're going to be out in the wilderness, they're trying to make sure that you get to save as much fresh water as possible. So what happens is there's a little lever right here, and in one mode, it just recirculates that fresh water. So it takes it and puts it right back in the tank, uh, it, you know, running through the water heater. And so that allows you to not waste fresh water as well as not fill up your gray tanks. And once it gets hot, that blue elbow turns white. You can flip it and then boom, you have hot water. Otherwise, you're sitting here, you know, just letting hot water, just letting water run out until it gets hot, and that can take up some time, right? You know, we're just sitting here, and uh, you know, all of a sudden, you you used, you know, a few gallons of fresh water. You put a few gallons uh, in your gray tank. You don't want to do that. Not when you're out in the middle of nowhere. You don't want to have to go back just because you ran out of fresh water. So that shower miser gives you the ability to stay out a little bit longer. As we come outside, huh, let's see, where do we want to start on this one? We'll, you know what, let's, uh, we'll start right here. And then we'll make our way around. So a couple things, you know, again, we talk about great features, right? Here is one of them. You have frameless windows. That is an awesome feature to have um, because one, they look a heck of a lot nicer. Two, the seals are tucked behind the window, helping to protect from any sun or anything that's beaten down on it. So, you know, those seals are gonna be better protected. And if it's raining, you can actually pop these open and you'll get some airflow. So, you know, maybe you want the ramp down and you can have the screen if it's not raining too hard. Open these guys up, you have some awesome airflow running through there. This is where that griddle hooks up. You can pop it right up on there. The propane quick connect is underneath. You also have an electric hookup if you need to hook anything up there. Big power awning with an LED strip so that you know, if you uh, want to, you know, roll the awning out, you can have the, the LEDs on, have a little party right out here, right? Why keep it inside? Maybe, you, you know, you're, you're going out in the middle of nowhere. Enjoy it. That's what it's all about. And speaking of getting out in the middle of nowhere, you have big, rugged 15-inch tires. You can see you have big lugs on there, so they're able to, you know, hit some two tracks, rocking and rolling. Aluminum alloy wheels, which are gorgeous, going to stay pretty. They're not going to rust on you. Uh, you'll also see that you have your uh, tire pressure sensor on there, so that way you're able to monitor and make sure that, you know, because you'll be hitting some bumps, rocks, other things, if your start, tires start to get low, you want to know that. So you can take the uh, air compressor that you have with you in your garage, right? Bring it out, fill up your tires, good to go. You also see the steps right here. Upgraded steps, more ride step above step system, folds right in, super simple and easy to use. You can see we're in rocks and look at this. It's still super stable, folks. I'm running about 220 right now. Can hop up and down in those things. They don't even flex. Aluminum treads on there too. 
more solar. If you want solar there, you can plug it in. Now, the, it, it, there's a panel up on the roof, which is why we have that solar controller or prop to the rather, uh, but you can put one right there too. Coming around to this side, you know, propane right up front, three quarter front cap here. Let's come around and hit this side real quick. Want to hit a couple things before we take off. The main one being this, and that is your main storage compartment, which is located right there. And then all of your hookups will basically be right here on the off door side. We saw the big ramp uh, on the back, of course, where you will load your toys up and lower the, or take them back out. And folks, again, this is a 2021 Rockwood Geo Pro 19TH. It's a nice, short, lightweight toy hauler. If you love this one, you'll want to text RV to 46642 because you can pick this one up for as little as $6.47 a day. If you want something bigger, that's great. We have a ton. We've showed you some. We have a lot more. Simply text the word FRESH to 46642 to take advantage of all the inventory we have in stock. The Geo Pro Nelly. I can't believe that there's a 20 foot toy hauler. I didn't know that they existed at all. You know, I didn't know they did either until today. So we're both learning. I, I loved it though. The fact that they were able to pack in so much in such yep. a tiny space and that counter space. I know we talk about counter space all the time and how important that real estate especially is. Especially for you, Miss Cook, especially when we're camping <laughs> next to each other. I'm like, Tiffany's got <laughs> dinner tonight. We are good. I'm glad that we were able to camp together and that I was able to make you guys dinner. I know it wasn't my no, best, it was. but you know, very best. I, I, we're going to keep continuing doing and I'm going to impress you even more. I'm okay with that. I'm okay <laughs> with that. Hey folks, if this Geo Pro is something that you're interested in or you're looking for a different model, make sure to text RV to 46642. We'll have a specialist waiting for you to answer any of your questions. Nelly, I know we have something big coming up. We do. We have our ultimate giveaway right now, $250 for a merch gift card. $250. I know we're always walking I know. after each <laughs> camping world that we arrive to. Even though we have everything, we're like, oh, okay. We need this, we need this, pants, upgrade need this. Pants. I absolutely love it. Yeah, they so, have so much they could buy. Who's the winner? You got to tell All right. me. All right, the winner for this is Jimmy Weeks. Jimmy Weeks! Congratulations. Congratulations, that is so big. If you want to take us shopping, we're ready to go with <laughs> we'll you. We'll do it. But yeah. Go ahead. Oh, go ahead. <laughs> In order to be eligible to win these gifts, you guys, all you have to do is register with Ultimate RV Show. And you, all you can do is just text URVS246642 and you will be registered. And we have Ian coming up with the Heartland Torque. We're so excited to see it. Ian, take it away. With a 13-foot garage, beautiful living space, including a very unique dinette and theater seating layout, plus a private bedroom up front. Coming in at 38 foot and 9 inches long. Folks, this is the 2021 Heartland Torque T333. And this is a really cool floor plan. It's very unique, right? In, in the, the fact, especially when you get in that living space, you'll see uh, just kind of how it is laid out. But right back here... And I like to, when I do toy haulers, I like to start in the garage, right? Because this is kind of generally why you get it. You get it for this extra space, the big garage space. And it's not just necessarily for toys. If you have a big family and you want lots of places to sleep, this is an excellent option. These two right here can lay flat. That creates a queen bed. You have the happy jack system up top. Or this whole thing's a happy jack system. But you have another queen bed right up top. So you have two queen beds back here, meaning that you can comfortably sleep four people. If you want uh, an office while you're traveling, you have a ton of space to set up an office back here. Or if you are using it for toys, maybe you have an ATV, a UTV, uh, snowmobiles, motorcycles, a golf cart you want to take with you. All of those are great options for this space. And being 13 foot, you can fit a lot of like those side-by-side -side UTVs that everyone really loves. Uh, chances are you'll be able to fit one in here. Now, as far as the space itself, you will see on that back ramp, this one does come with a party deck. That's what we have there. You can also see the screen with a zipper in the center. So when the party deck is out, you can zip and unzip it so you can head in and out super easily. Uh, you'll also see right down below, now I have this strapped in, but this one does come with the carpet. So again, if you want to make it a little more residential, you can roll that carpet out, have the carpeted space back here. It comes with the table to put in between the sofas so you have you know, more usable living space. So you can use this entire thing. You're not closed off. That's one of the big things when it comes to toy haulers. A lot of people feel like, oh, well, I lose so much. 
That's not necessarily the case. This is all great usable space. Uh, you also have windows on both sides, including another one here, and of course a secondary entrance. Now, if you want to hop up on the ramp, you know, on the party deck you can, but it's a heck of a lot easier to get in and out using uh, th this door right here. Of course, tie downs all the way around. You can see those. You have several. Uh, I think there's a total of nine in here, I believe. Um, and so, you know, and, and it's pretty simple to use, right? Nice, big, heavy-duty D-rings. If you want TV back here, you have a spot for that too. Boom, that's where you'll mount it, plug it in, good to go. Storage all across the top, and you have two magic doors. One will lead into the gorgeous kitchen and living room, and the other one is a place to wash off and use the bathroom. So, here we go. I'll take a seat right here. Um, you know, it is a little tight, right, in all honesty, as far as the bathroom space. You can put your arm up here. You know, if you're here, it's a little... A little, a little tight for me, uh, but you have plenty of room there. Good to go. Lots of leg room, so no issues. Sink over to the side. It is a kind of a little bit wider sink, which I like. Mirrored medicine cabinet up top, and over to the side is the shower. And of course, because we're in a toy hauler, you have a ton of headspace. That's another thing that people generally don't think about, right? They think, toy hauler, well, I don't have any toys. Why would I want one? Well, maybe you're a family of really tall people. You get huge ceiling heights in a toy hauler, and you have a lot of sleeping back here, and you have a garage where you can bring your bikes, your firewood, whatever else you want, all of that can fit right here in the garage. You, you know, you have more storage space to bring uh, goodies with you than basically anything else. And when you step up and through, you get into the kitchen, you'll see the fridge freezer right there, some storage up top. This whole thing right here slides out, which is what really gives you a lot of this space. And, you know, if you're thinking, well, you know, I've seen so many toy haulers, but, you know, they're, they're just super masculine. Uh, that's kind of a thing of the past, right? A lot of manufacturers have started to realize that it's, it's not just a, a dude's hangout when it comes to toy haulers. You know, if you have toys, you want this area to still feel like home. So they give you the gorgeous, you know, solid surface countertops here. You know, you're not missing out. Just because you have a toy hauler doesn't mean, you know, you want less in the kitchen. You still want it to look nice. You still want it to be functional. You still want prep space to cook food. Maybe you're going to have a bunch of people hang out. You have to be able to feed them, give them snacks. You know, you have the cutting board right here for your sink top cover. Flip it over, boom. There you go. If you want a charcuterie board, I'm a big fan of charcuteries. You want to know why? I grew up on Lunchables. It's basically a mini charcuterie board. So you can serve this to friends right here. You got the undermount sink. High-rise faucet there, kind of the oil rub bronze, a little bit more modern, but I like the oil rub because it kind of blends in with the poles they used for all of your storage. Plenty of storage here underneath, too. They did a great job. And then as we take a look over across the way, this is really cool. This is another one of my favorite parts here is the dinette itself, the table space. So, you know, I showed you in the back, we have the two rollover sofas. You can easily sit four people there. You can sit another two to three. You know, I mean, I could fit two more people on here, no problem, on either side of this. So a couple bar stools, got three bar stools on that side, three on this side. We're sitting here, we're playing games, hanging out. Need to charge a cell phone, you can do that. Big TV right up top, folks. I know watching TV, you know, it's, is that what we go camping for? Not necessarily, but do I like it from time to time, especially when it's raining? Absolutely. And I want to watch it comfortably, which is why I have these. So I can sit, kick back, relax, put my feet up, have a great view to that TV. I'm good to go. I can have people at the dinette, can have people over here in the sofa. I mean, you want to talk about not just beauty, but entertainment. This one has so much seating in it. Uh, and it's not all in the garage, right? You have a lot of it in the living space. And, and you've seen so many toy haulers, the whole wall is uh, theater seats. And for some people, that's great. For others, you want a little more functionality. And for me, that's kind of what this one brings, right? It's an excellent spot. Everyone's comfortable. Everyone gets to sit down, hang out, have that conversation. This jackknife sofa does fold down if you need a little bit of extra sleeping area. Take a look at this. They got rid of carpeting, right? You went with a fiber instead. So that way, uh, it's a little bit easier to clean up, you know? Uh, I certainly love that. It'll make your unit look a lot nicer for longer. Storage all across the top. The center, they went glass instead of the wood look. A little bit different here. And then, you know, more storage across the top here with your sound system. That's one of the big things about, um, about having your toy haulers as well, is they generally have better sound systems. Right, here you go. Look at that. Big old subwoofer right there, right? Just pounding out some music. Coming into the master bedroom, you have some space up here. And one of the big things I want to point out, one of the things about toy haulers, take a look right up there. That is your Cummins Onan generator, right? That's or not that's not the generator. That's your, where you start and stop it, turn it off, your control for it. But 
Um, that's one of the things I get asked a lot is, you know, can I get a generator in this RV? In most travel trailers, the answer is no. In toy haulers, most of the time, not most of the time, a lot of the time, the answer is yes. It does depend on the toy hauler. So if that's something you want, if you want a travel trailer with a generator, a toy hauler may be a great option. Now, how do you know which ones have it and which don't? Well, you can you know, look it up online. You can use some of our online tools. You can do things like you're doing right now, watch this show. Or if you want to make it really easy and cut to the chase, you can give us a call at 877-297-8725 or text the word FRESH to 46642. And you'll be able to you know, have instant access to us here at Camping World to help you go through you know, over 100,000 pieces of inventory that we have on the lot and coming in and help narrow it down to find out which one's right for you, show you which ones have generator. Maybe you want one with washer dryer, right? That, that's out there. It's an option. Maybe you want a king bed like this one right here. We know which ones have it. We'll help you narrow it down and again, find the perfect RV for you. Now, uh, you know, it's beautiful inside, right? But hey, this one has an outside too, and that's a big part of a toy hauler. So as we step outside here, let's make our way right up front. So we'll notice a couple different things. Let's open this up. So actually, before I open it, let me tell you, this one has key alike, right? And, and, and why is that a big deal? So when you're talking about RVs, um, especially with toy haulers, a lot of times you're taking them to places where it might be a little more remote, right? And uh, security starts to become a little bit more of an issue. Most RVs out there use what they call a 751 key on your storage, which means if you buy an RV and someone else buys an RV, you both have the same key to open your storage bays. And that concerns a lot of people and for fair reason. So a lot of manufacturers have gone to the key alike system, which is a unique key only for this RV, very specific to it, so that you know whatever is in here is going to be safe. You'll also see you have a covered hinge so you don't have a bunch of rust coming down your door. The magnetic latch sticks up just like that. If you take a look inside, it's good. Storage space right up there, right? Come around to the, the front for me here. Three quarter front cap, LED lights running up. You have some propane tanks, right? Nice big propane tanks, which is important when you're gonna be out camping for a longer period of time. Propane quick connect right here. Got an extra rock. That's kind of pretty. Uh, so we have that. If, uh, if for whatever reason there's a, uh, this breaks down, right? There's a manual override. You can uh, pop this guy right off, use your uh, drill bit and be able to operate this tongue, move it up and down, make sure you're not stuck out at your campsite in the middle of your woods or wherever else you may be. Coming around the other side with me a second here. Let's take a look because what do we have for the record? In case you're wondering, this is not a storage compartment. Why? Because it's generator prep, right? You want generator, this is where it goes. Now, you can order it straight from the manufacturer with the generator. That is something that we can do. So if you want that, not a problem. Otherwise, you can do prep like this. You can see, uh, and, and there's a lot to prep, right? Even with this, there still has to be some work done. But you can see that you have the, uh, the barrier in there. You can see you have the wiring. Everything is kind of uh, set up and ready to go. You have solar prep right down here um, so that if you need the solar that you know you can uh, just buy portable panel plug it in right there you're good to go and again that will help power you when you are out and about here's the great thing about this torque folks the t333 if if you're really liking this one you can pick this one up starting at fifty thousand four thirty five, which is twelve dollars and eight cents a day for something like this that is a phenomenal price highly highly recommend it you have this big huge slide come on back let me show you something else right so there's a couple things when it comes to toy haulers. We saw the gen prep up front. That's one of them, right? It gives you that ability to just have power anywhere. Another big thing about toy haulers is right back here, and that is your fuel pump station. So you have a gas tank in here. And uh, you know, a lot of times, depend, depending on the toy hauler, some of them will have a separate tank for fuel station and a separate one for generators. Some of them will use one tank combined. But what this does is if you have toys, you're able to fill them up. There's a nozzle hiding right in here. You can fill up, you know, your, again, your UTVs, your quads, whatever it may be. Even if it's a golf cart you have in there and you're just cruising around with the kiddos, you're able to fill it up super simple and easily. And, and if this isn't the right one for you folks, maybe you're looking for something a little bit more. Maybe you want a fifth wheel toy hauler. Maybe you want, uh, you know, just an entry level. You know, you don't need the fuel station. You don't need the generator. You just want to be able to get something big from point A to point B. 
we have those too. All you have to do is text FRESH to 46642 and we'll be able to help you out, find you the perfect one, the layout that's gonna work for you with the budget because we have toy haulers, we have RVs that fit every budget, every lifestyle, you know, starting from just a, a few dollars a day up into you know some million dollar uh, class A motorhomes. Folks, we got them. All you gotta do is give us a call, give us a text or drop that keyword in the comments section below. Introducing RV123 by Camping World, the only way to buy and take delivery of your new RV all from the comfort of your couch or camp chair. To buy your new RV the easy way, just follow these simple steps. Step one, shop till you drop. Find your perfect RV online at CampingWorld.com and schedule a live virtual walkthrough with one of our RV specialists. Step two, make it mine. Discuss financing options over the phone with a Camping World finance expert. All paperwork handled via mail. Prepaid envelopes are provided. Step three, let's go camping. Take delivery of your new RV at your home or campsite. Our certified delivery specialists will provide the same high quality walkthrough that you would receive at a Camping World dealership. There's a whole new way to buy an RV. Get your RV the easy way with RV123 by Camping World. With the Camping World Best Price Guarantee, we'll beat any competitor price by $500 guaranteed or write you a check for $1,000. I will never lose a deal over price, ever, and I guarantee it. Learn more today at CampingWorld.com. Well, as we continue through our travel trailer section, I mean, how about that Heartland Torque fifth wheel, all the all the fifth wheel amenities mm -hmm. in a travel trailer. I mean, you saw them all. Ian is so good at presenting those to <laughs> yes. us. And, you know, whether you want to change something on the inside, we've got our customer service representative standing by right now. If somebody was to say, Sean, Nellie, Bryce, mm -hmm. I want that unit. What do they got to do, Nellie? All they have to do is text or comment below RV246642. It's that simple. So and easy. you know what we're going to so do? Easy. We're going to go into something pretty unique that we've never done before. We are. We are. We uh, And before we even do that, you got something here. Yeah. Flash, you <laughs> flash, flash sale, sale, guys. Flash sale. <laughs> you guys, the next, the, the, the next 10 people that call in actually get $500 off any RV they purchase during this show. All you have to do is call 877-297-8725. So so simple. A All flash sale. I mean, this is a big deal when you're talking about $500 off of the next 10 people. Mm -hmm. Any rig. Flash sales are huge. Yep. And speaking of huge, we got something really exciting. Something yeah. that we haven't done before, actually. This is really exciting. This is the RV face-off. It's awesome. Really excited. Do you want to tell me, Sean, what it is? Well, here's the cool thing. We've taken, we've talked a lot about Cougars, and this is, we're talking top of the line. Beautiful. Yeah. You see, all, see them everywhere. We talk a lot about Montana's. We presented it both to you several times over the last several weeks. We're going to do more. But this face-off is, I mean, which is better? Which one do we really want if we wanted one or the other? And we've got two amazing pros that are going to do this for us. We know Chris, uh, Chris Young, who's our guy, mm -hmm. and another amazing Chris. So either way, a Chris is actually going to win the face-off. <laughs> Can't lose. And they're going to they're going to go toe-to-toe, -to -toe, and we're going to yeah. see the pros and cons of both. Which I love that because even with this our model that we have right now, the fifth wheel toy hauler, we went back and forth and back and forth. So it's good to see it all right together right now. Yeah. All right, this is the Cougar taking on the Montana toe to toe. The face off begins right now. Chris, take it away. Ultimate RV Show National Tour. This week we are in beautiful, sunny Florida. And one of the things we have not had a chance to do yet with the Ultimate RV Show, but I'm excited about doing, we're doing the Chris face off. Chris Young versus Keystone's Chris Stender, my Montana buddy. Now, now we're, we're buds. We go way back like Cadillacs. Chris is going to win. It's no, yeah, Chris, no matter what happens, Chris <laughs> is going to win. And you know what? We, we haven't talked about maybe having somebody else from Keystone come down, mm -hmm. but they were so confident in my ability to, to topple you in this versus battle. They were like, you know what? No, nah, it's all good. Chris is going to have it. Chris is going to handle it. They should Chris be concerned. Is they actually should be concerned. <laughs> <laughs> so, but today we're going to go through some comparisons and some contrast of the Keystone Montana, the Montana High Country, <laughs> and the Cougar Half Ton and Cougar Mid Profile Fifth Wheels. Why? Well, because they're one of the top selling fifth wheels for the last, gosh, 20 plus years when you're talking about all of them combined together. And we have so many people asking questions. With over 80,000 factory fresh units coming this year, Chris, and so many people hopping onto the RV lifestyle last year 
uh, we wanted to kind of show people what are the differences between the two brands. And I'm glad you're here, by the way. Welcome to Florida. Sure. I Again. live I live in Florida. I know. He's playing golf and everything, man. Making me jealous. Yeah, I get, you know. Call him. I'm like, hey, man, I want to do this thing at the Ultimate RV Show. He's like, wait, hang on. In the background, you hear, oh. <laughs> Thank, thanks, Chris. I really appreciate the, you know, being top of the mind there. But no, it's. We want people to see the differences, the comparisons, and the contrast between mm -hmm. the two. Sure. So that hopefully if they're on the fence about which one to get, there's not going to be a wrong choice regardless of which way you go. It's just there's subtle differences between the brands and subtle differences that will make you decide which one's going to be better for how you want to RV and what you're going to tow with. So let's start with Montana. What is Montana? What is high country? Well, let's take a look, Chris. Yeah. I know we got two beautiful <clears throat> units here, 20, 21. And you guys did some nice updates for 2021. We have the Montana High Country. Montana High Country has been out of just over 11 years. Mm -hmm. uh, initially, we, all of our floor plans were under 9,900 pounds, but we've expanded through the years. This is our shortest floor plan at 32 feet 2 inches, introduced a couple months ago in Marion, yeah. North Carolina. Yeah, for the Ultimate RV. At only about 10,700 pounds. We also go all the way up to 42 feet and just over 13,000 pounds. What the, who the high country appeals to is the customer that has a three quarter one ton gas or diesel right. that you know can't pull the 14, 15,000 pound fifth wheels. Right. This is ideal for them. There's also customers that just don't want to pull 13, 14,000 pounds. Right. So we introduced this just over 11 years. And what this is, it's a high profile fifth wheel with high profile features, right. but mid profile weights, mid profile price point. And between the high country and the Montana, that's really the only difference. The it's difference just... between the two is standard features. Okay. Montana has additional standard features versus a high country. We right. call it separation. Okay. We want to keep separation in the products. Right. And okay. you have a wonderful toy hauler too, which was the 383, <clears throat> which was just in, you know introduced not that long yeah. ago. And too. that was based on our 375 front living room we had right. for years. All we did was elevate the bathroom and bedroom, turn the bed north south. We put it on a lift. Right. So if you're looking for luxury that you would get into Montana and you want the option of having a toy hauler, maybe you got to pull the golf cart, the Harley, the kayaks. I love how you sure. mentioned the kayaks in it. It's a good option for you. Yeah, absolutely. But speaking of some of those standard features, let's see what we got inside the Montana high Yeah, well, come on in. We'll, on the more I'd step above with a gas strut assist, very nice and easy. Oh, nice. Come on in with your six foot six entry door. <laughs> well, it's not a headbanger. Good clearance, wide, tall doors. Oh, yeah. The Remember seeing this there. a couple months ago in Marion, yes. North Carolina, you and I? Love this one. This is our 32 feet, 2 inch floor plan. Right. It's a high profile fifth wheel. What is high profile? 13, 3, 13, 5 overall heights. And that is to the top of the second air because right. two air conditioners are standard in the high countries. Right. When you get taller ceilings, okay, overall height, you get taller cabinets. Taller cabinets give you more storage. Right. You can never have too much storage in an RV. Also, your slide rooms are six foot six tall. That's what I okay. like about the yeah, Taller the slide room. rooms gives you bigger windows. Bigger windows give you more daylight. Right. Because nobody wants to be claustrophobic when they're RVing. And that cross <clears throat> breeze too. You got you know well bigger exit for security access points mm -hmm. as well as bigger yeah uh, cross breeze. All of our well. windows in this unit open except right. for the front windshield which we'll show you in a moment. Right. But we want to talk about the quiet cool air conditioning that is standard on the Montana high country. Notice the shroud is not exposed in the ceiling. Those are your two air returns. It's 30 percent quieter than standard RV air conditioner. The biggest complaint customers have is your air conditioner where it's positioned to your TV. Right. It's always loud. You got to turn your TV up and you have to talk over both of them. That's 30 percent quieter plus you have an electric heat pump built into it. Here in Florida this morning, it's 60 degrees this morning. Chilly for me, but not most. Right. Yeah, not, yeah, not Hit too the much electric much. heat pump, matter of five, 10 minutes, and nice and warm in this unit. That way you don't have to turn on your furnace. Right, and that's standard whether you go <clears throat> high country or just regular. Absolutely, the Montana has dual quiet cool in the front bedroom as well. Mm -hmm. The high country has a ducted 15,000 air in the front. So both units do have Oh, so you got 15, dual 15s. Okay. Dual 15s. Yeah. Everything we're talking about today, folks, is standard included in the high country right. and included in the Montana. Things customers hate is option, 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 option. Right, right. You know, it's like, you know, the, the airline ticket's 59 bucks, but by the time you pay your taxes and your seats, yeah. it's 350 Yeah, and the thing that I like about the 15K versus the 13.5 
is you wouldn't think that that little difference makes a big difference, but it really does when it comes to cooling. So if that's big for you, once again, at four-season camping, now Montana's were rated 0 to 110 <coughs> degrees You know, with the insulation. you got radiant foil barriers, astral foil barriers, heated tanks. I mean, it's, it's crazy. But let the specialist guide you through where you're going to be camping and if you're going to need that upgrade between the 13.5 and the 15K because that could make a break really enjoying the camping experience. And also for the folks uh, in the north, we just had an article come out a few months ago and Montana was rated the number one cold weather RV yeah. and they test it all. So also what you get with the high country as well too is you can get an 18 cubic foot residential refrigerator with an ice maker and water. Yes. I love this. <clears throat> the little water dispenser on there. Water dispenser. I love that. You know, and also you can get it in an RV refrigerator as well, too. Right. Well, yeah. that's the difference between the, the numbers, right? The odd numbers have the 280, ours is a 12 cubic foot RV. Right. 281 has an 18 cubic foot residential. Same price for either. Right. Let's go up front. Yeah, let's, let's go check this out before we have to <clears throat> head out of this one. So you got road vac. That's pretty standard. Big selling feature. I'm six foot six. Our ceilings are six foot eight all the way to the front of the coach. Wow. This okay. unit here is 32 feet, two inches. So to keep the length down, we did a double entry exit bathroom right. with a 36 inch one piece fiberglass shower radius. And we have that in three floor plans. All of our other floor plans in high country is a 30 inch by 48 inch one piece fiberglass right. single entry. With this is one of our three floor plans that gives you a front windshield as well also. I love the privacy glass, man. You talk Very about nice. waking up, you're like you pull this up to the beach or the mountains and sunrise, sunsets, or just looking out and having that option. It's all about view. The number views. one reason people buy the RV is because of the floor plan. Yeah. Floor plan and eye appeal. We talk about the six foot eight headroom where it's consistently straight. Right. Get in the mid profiles, they're shorter overall and then when you get in about mid bed. It starts to slant. We call it the yeah. stop, drop, and roll. <laughs> All of our floor plans in the high country, except the 362 rear den, come with a king bed. You can yeah. also get a queen as well, too, and also the nice large storage yes. that you have underneath here. It's good here, for the golf bag. Here's your 25-foot expandable hose for your standard central vacuum. Also, here's your second 15,000 air. We're in Florida. Yeah. That is very that important handy. because yeah. these ducts, you have a 2-inch by 8-inch insulated ducting system that runs throughout the whole coach. And you so guys have those tough like joints <coughs> all the way around. Where they don't too, collapse. Right? Yeah. We have a patent pending um, divider where you, the ducts go together. That way they don't collapse. Because through the years when you put your insulation up here, it had a tendency to collapse, collapse the ducts. That's that would be the ducts. D-U-C-T-S. <laughs> Not, not, not the duck. Yes, yes. I don't want. <laughs> <laughs> we don't need people I don't getting need people. confused. Exactly. I mean, you know, granted, a webbed foot creature on top of my RV would be kind of nice, but true. Yeah. Now, so that's the Montana High Country, uh, and, and <clears throat> once again, you'd mentioned a lot of those kind of, um, you know, come standard. But the difference between High Country and <clears throat> Montana is <clears throat> what? Now we get into Montana High Country has electric auto leveling, yeah. four or six point, depending on the floor plan, mm -hmm. and it has all electric slide rooms. It's been that way since day one. Right. Truth Mon slides are awesome. Probably. Absolutely. Yeah. And again, it depends You know, on the electric slides. All the slides have individual buttons. Now on the Montana, it's been out for over 22 years. That's our flagship. Yeah. Okay. The Montana brand has been the number one selling fifth wheel since 2003. Wow. Okay. Because there's three guarantees of life, Chris. Yeah. We'll pass away, we'll pay taxes, and you'll see a Montana in a campground. <laughs> so when you go to the Montana, we start at 35 feet, and we go to 41 feet. Mm -hmm. Our weights, we start at 12,000 pounds, and we go to just shy of 15,000 pounds. Okay. This is not as weight sensitive as what the high country is. The buyer on the high country is a customer that maybe has had a travel trailer, whether it's a conventional build or a lightweight, a mid-profile travel trailer, mid-profile fifth wheel, right. and they can go right into the high, high country. country. Because people want more for their money than they ever have. Right. The buyer on a Montana is somebody that's probably been in a mid-profile travel trailer, mid-profile fifth wheel, right. or another high-profile fifth wheel. But our numbers have shown we have more repeat buyers than any other brand in the history of the RV business. So it's not uncommon for repeat buyers on Montana. We have right. people on their first, second, third, fourth, fifth. I had a gentleman a couple years ago in Ohio was on his 13th Montana. Wow. 
buys one every year. Wow, wow. Oh, okay. So the same thing is on the Montana and the high country. The Montana has more standard features. We're getting into six point hydraulic leveling. Right. Okay, versus four or six point. We're going standard 12 inch I beam on the Montana. Mm -hmm. High country either has 10 inch I beam or 12 inch I beam based on the floor plan. Right. Montana standard 7,000 pound axles. High country has either 6,000 or 7,000 depending on the floor plan. Right. So there's not a lot of difference. You yeah. know, the difference is standard, standard features. features. Yeah, so just a little bit of an, uh, I don't want to even really say upgrade because both of them are good options, but it would be a little bit of an upgrade. Sure, you got yeah. frameless windows right. on the Montana, standard windows on the high country. Again, right. we have to keep that separation. Yeah. Now this one, this is a front bath and a half. Uh, this is what I like to call the uh, vacation palace because of that front bath. Which 39, 31 front bath and a half. We introduced this approximately five years ago. The first front bath and a half in the RV industry. Just like Montana introduced the first front living room in 2004. We also introduced the front first front rear I'm sorry the first rear den right. as well too so Montana's a lot of first so let's talk about what additional standard features you get in the Montana yeah. <clears throat> we talked about the quiet cool air conditioning mm -hmm. in the Montana you have it in the family room and also in the bedroom right okay <clears throat> both units do have 30 inch residential microwaves mm -hmm. in the Montana you get a convection in addition Okay. Very nice little addition that you don't think you'd use, but you end up using that a whole lot more. It's a man's than best friend. It is. It really man's is. Man's best friend. Yeah. Just hit a button if you want to bake, broil, cook. Also, in your theater seats, the High Country has a standard power theater seats. The mm -hmm. Montana gives you power, massage, heat, and also a light. Little LED lights underneath as yeah. well too. And then depending on the length of the floor plan, you'll have a different armrest as yeah. well too. Okay. Like now, the carpetless slides too. Carpet in which we have Very in the high stuff. country, we've gone to the vinyl. Yeah. Carpet is a thing of the past. Yeah. Because of sand, dirt, pets. Also want to show you the pedestal free dinette table, which on the high country you can get booth or freestanding table and chairs. Right. But this is a pedestal free. Okay, and this table moves in and out. Okay. And it lifts up for storage. Oh, right. The high on. country has a leaf as well, it pulls out the bottom. And it works a little different than this here. Two hard chairs here. Two. The other two folding chairs are either underneath the bed or in the front washer dryer closet, depending on the floor plan. We also have pop-up USB 110 outlets on the Montana. We're on the high country. They're stationary as well. Those pop-up power stations are fan. Fantastic. Also have them in the kitchen. Depending yeah. on the floor plan, you either have one or two there. That's in the great. Montana, you do have backlit crown molding here. Yeah. It can be a nice mood light at nighttime. Also in the Montana, we are wired and prepped for a third air conditioner. We also do op option it uh, at the manufacturer. It is a dump. Right. It is not connected in the ducting. It is a third AC dump. Sure. Okay. Your central vacuum in a Montana. They both, Montana and High Country, have the 25-foot expandable hose, but also in the Montana, you have the toe kick. Oh, where you nice. you can sweep right into it. Yeah. And it just goes right into the collection point underneath right the Right into the collection point right underneath as well, too. Love it. Okay. Here's your half bath in now, the 3931 front bath. And one of the things that I think is awesome are these extra thick solid surface countertops that come standard in the Montanas. Residential, beautiful, easy to clean, allows us to have undermounted stainless steel sinks. Uh, the residential style cabinetry as well with the hideaway hinges. I always say this is a mark of good construction because if somebody's going to put this in their cabinets in an RV, they spent some time and effort making yep. it right. We have uh, self-closing cabinet doors. Right. We also have self-closing drawers. That's one of the differences in the Montana and the high, high country, country as well, too. In this floor plan here, your washer dryer closet is here in the fam in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. However, Chris, do you realize only 4% of all RVers actually use a washer and dryer? I did. I mean, you would think that a lot of people would use it a lot more, but they just don't. It takes up space, space, adds weight, takes up a lot of water, and yep. for the money, 
A lot of campgrounds have very nice facilities to yeah. use, and people can go a week, week and a half without doing laundry. Right. So in this floor plan, it gives you 26 inches of additional pantry storage in addition to the pantry and the slide room. I think a lot of it, too, is boiled <coughs> down to people realize that they don't need to take as much stuff with them as they think no. anymore. Because that, that's one of the biggest misconceptions when you first buy an RV. Even something like this where... And you can speak to this probably better than I can. There used to be this stigma around RVs. Mm -hmm. you, you were going to give up something when you were headed out onto the road. Sure. You weren't going to have those creature comforts of home. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's going to be rickety. It's going to be rocky. It's going to be hot and dusty and windy. When you take a look at where we've progressed just over the last five mm -hmm. years, there is so much opulence inside RVs now. Mm -hmm. And it's no wonder to me, well, the manufacturing, the construction that you guys have at Keystone, why the Montana is one of the best selling for 20 plus years now. Because, uh, I mean, just take a look at, you even put the cover in the seams there. The solid wood construction on the slides. Love the backlight. You even put the little. It's eye appeal. On it's there. attention to detail at the Montana division. We put items in RVs that sell. We don't put right. the fluff in there that, yeah, maybe, maybe, I don't want to pay for it, but I do. But right. let's run up yeah, front real quick here. Because so, this so, is the front bath and a half. This is what really wows this, this floor this plan. plan. King size bed. Kev, take a look at this. And then this is where, when I first <laughs> saw this, I was like, come on, man. Largest bathroom of any Montana floor plan. We have nice large front wardrobe in addition to storage in the bedroom. Double sink. Double vanity sink. A lot of people have these in your home. So 30-inch yeah. by 40-inch one-piece fiberglass shower. And also you have a nice sitting area right over here yep. with a window. That's beautiful. How many so, people growing up did we have windows in our bathroom? Yeah, 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 yeah. And nice, the full, high-profile fifth wheel. Mm -hmm. I'm six foot six. I can stand up. Right. It feels spacious, and it is spacious. We only get so many square feet in an RV to work with. Right. So that's really... If, if you're looking for the luxury, if you're looking for those standard features that you don't want to give up when you go take your RV, then you want to stick with the Keystone Montana or the Keystone Montana High Country. To, Chris, to be honest, besides you know some of the upgraded features, I don't really see that big of a difference on the insides between the Montana and the Montana High Country. And I'm sure if I was towing, I would feel the difference. It's got a, it's got a rich look to yeah, it. Yeah, it does. It's got a rich look. But there is separation. We don't duplicate floor plans from high country to Montana. Right. And we want to keep that separation in, in features and also price point. Right. We don't want to be right on top. Yeah. You're, you're, you're giving the working family an option to have a luxury fifth wheel with the high country. Sure. And, and, sure. and I love that. Yeah, we're in the meat of the market. We, yeah. we let the others dabble around in this price point. Our, your best sellers in any product yeah. is right here in the middle. Yeah. So this is a versus battle. With Keystone, we're doing Montana versus Cougar. Chris, as always, it's fantastic. Now, uh, I am going to have to put you on the spot. I know this isn't your wheelhouse. I know this is your internal competitor. Well, the nice thing is we are a one-two punch. Majority of the dealers that I am on, I have Cougar. We have a lot of Cougar buyers that do yeah. transition to the Montana, Montana high country. Yeah. Uh, either one. And again, it's a nice one-two punch. Yeah. Again, they offer a lot for their money as well, too. Mm -hmm. My job is to show so, you what we so have to offer for Montana, Montana, that's Montana right. High. So and I'll bite my lip. <laughs> yeah, that's right, yeah. Go ahead. And look, we, we, we have a good friend between us, Kevin Horky, who I know is, is, is biting his lip because he wished he could have been down there with us this week. But with the Cougars, the, really the difference between the two is with Montana, you're getting full profile, feature packed RV fifth wheels. With the Cougars and the Cougar half tons, you're getting feature packed mid profile and half ton fifth wheels. What's the big difference? Well, it's pretty much you still get spacious floor plans, lots of storage, but they're on smaller frames, less weight, and you're able to tow with half-ton trucks or if you're looking for that mid Cougar Cougar's hitting yeah. a different price point, yeah. a different look, different floor plans, yeah. but it's different lengths and weights and price point at yeah. the end of the day. One thing you can see also on the Montana, Montana high country, notice how that front roof line continues straight. Mm -hmm. That's what gives you the full stand the up full in the front area, whether, yeah. whether it's a family room or bedroom. And notice in the mid profiles, right. it does have a taper. Yeah. Again, that is to eliminate some weight as well also. Yeah, if you notice on the end, so this is one of the uh, Cougars 
Uh, this is just one of the regular mid profiles. We'll show you the difference in the half ton, but you notice this has more of a kind of a boxy front end. The half tons have that even more reduced yeah. rounded edge. But when you go inside, I mean, even you still have the same heated pass through storage. You got the heating pads on the tanks and closed underbellies, mm -hmm. leveling systems. Now, you had pointed out a great feature about the Montanas between the two, compare and contrast. If you take a look, the legs on the Montanas are on the outside of the frame. I like that. Seems like it's a little bit more stability. It's a little wider little bit more stance. Strength. Yeah, wider mm -hmm. stance, a little bit of strength. But with, with Cougars, you, you're still not going to go wrong either way you go. It's really, what are you going to tow with? And if you're towing with a vehicle that you don't really have 100% confidence in what it can tow, it is easy to bring it to any camping world or any Gander RV and outdoors. They'll check it out for you. They'll tell you what you can tow, and they'll recommend what's going to be right for you. But when you walk inside, you're going to see what the comparisons between the Cougar and the Montanas, bright interiors, updated features. You get the same solid construction. Now these are rated zero to 100 degrees, where Montana's ratings are zero to 110. Both, I think, are still really good four season camping, but four season camping is different from Buffalo than it is from Mesa. Yeah, it depends on what depends people mean. Yeah, going. people don't know yeah. what we know. I've had people ask, is it a four season coach? And I always ask the question, what do you mean by four season? Well, you know, in Fort Pierce, Florida, it gets down to 45 at night. Yeah. Yeah, you're going to be comfortable. Again, customers don't know what we know. And, and it's yeah. fair to ask those questions because yeah. we want to help the customers well, too. Yeah. But, you know, you, it, you're, people that are single digits, zero, sub zero, no RV is designed for extreme weather temperatures right. because you're exposed on all sides. That's just a very small percentage of our buyers. Well, and there's there's also, you know, people, well, well what is our value? Because a lot of manufacturers push that R value. And if, if you've ever put a pot on the stove, R value is pretty much the heat from there to the handle. It's so misconstrued yeah, the RV it's business. So misconstrued. I'm R one thousand. You could have eight foot walls in an RV. Yeah. But you lose your heat and your cool air through, through your the windows. windows. Yeah. So. so it's one of those things where you if you do have questions, we have people standing by right now, which by the way I forgot to mention earlier. We got all, over 150 locations, people standing by to answer those questions about the differences between Cougar and Montana. And if you want to get a hold of us, just drop us a comment down below, RV or text RV to 46642. With over 80,000 factory fresh RVs coming, we will have some Montanas and Cougars that you can choose from. Just text fresh to 46642 or text fresh or just drop a comment down below fresh. This is now, your mid bunk. This is the mid bunk right here. 368 MBS. The 368 MBI. Um, oh, MBI. I really like this one because of the separation of space. Now, does Mon Montana's got a mid bunk? We have what we call, in a high country, it's called the 385 bonus room. Right. Montana's 3855 bonus room. The we bonus. call it a bonus room yeah. rather than mid bunk because there's some people that want a two bedroom but right. don't want a bunk house, two family room, don't want a bunk house, mm -hmm. outside kitchen, don't want a bunk house, want a desk, don't want a bunk house. So if I right. call it a bunk house, then I lose half my clientele. Yeah. It's a bonus room. It is a bonus My room. wife and I, Chris, don't watch the same TV stations. Yeah. So she could watch in the fame room. Yeah. I could go over here in the bonus room and watch as well, too. Well, I'm at that point now where we have the kids. One's five or, or one's six, one, you know, one's 11. They're watching complete. They're already going off in different directions. And also. <laughs> they got to have that separate And room. also, if you have children that don't go with you anymore, maybe busier, they're too good to go RVing, you know. Right. This still is a rear living floor plan at the end of the day. Yeah, and it, you still get that upgraded furniture. I mean, now you had talked about, uh, you know, massage and heat and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Well, with these allure furniture pieces, yeah. you, you do get that in the recliners. You still get the pillow top. It's still upgraded residential furniture in mm -hmm. both brands. It's just the difference with, like, with the Cougars, this is mid profile. Mm -hmm. So you're not going to have as much headroom, especially in the cap, which I can't mm -hmm. wait till we get Chris up in the cap <laughs> so you can see what it's like to be 6'6 inside of a mid profile uh, because that's going to be, that might be a game changer for you. And that's really yeah. going to be one of the things. I get, you'd be surprised how many calls I get. Mm -hmm. I got a customer at 6'4. Right. Well, they're worried about staying in the shower. Well, I'm 6'6. Six, six, so, right. you know, by doing these videos right here with, with people, it shows you that there is height. Yeah. You know, yeah. I know we try to hire short people to make our RVs look bigger. <laughs> yeah. That's why they wouldn't hire me for our little lightweight trailer right. trailer division. See, and I'm 6'2. They're um, like, you fill up that trailer too much. Oh, I do. But look, and then with the, you know, with, with the mid profiles, now being 6'2, I'm still good up here. Uh, the kids would, would battle over this because with the mid bunk, you do get the additional loft bunk up here. Mm -hmm. um, still get the same residential style shower in here with the solid surface, yeah. easy to clean. But yeah, come on. <laughs> come on, Lurch. <laughs> 
Here, I'll sit down. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Okay. Now, 6'2", um, and, and I really want you to see the difference between uh, the Cougar half ton and the Cougar mid-profile. This is the mid-profile, and you're going to see with me being 6'2", even here at the end cap, I still got headroom. Sure. I'm still clear. Chris is 6'6". 6'2". 6'6". But are you you grew since last time I saw you did? I, I did a little bit. Yeah. Well, I got the I got so, the I got the the great thing about the Cougar Al and the Pacino Montana is you shoes. get what you pay for. You know, we yeah. all know it's been that way. It is and always will be. You do yeah. get what you pay for. But mm -hmm. it's a great one-two punch with the Cougar yeah. and the Montana. And like I said, you can't go wrong either way. And we yeah. really complement each other. Well. Yeah. And and with the you know Cougars, you get the option of I mean, you can have a fifth wheel that's under thirty feet, or you can go up sure. to forty feet. Absolutely. Um, and it's it's on a little bit of a lighter frame. Um, the floor plans are still spacious. Storage is still spacious. Uh, obviously, the storage is a little bit deeper in the Montanas because of that drop frame. They get to um, a certain length, and they're like, you know what? Let the Montana the high country take over from there. Yeah. You know, and they, they uh, get involved in what's best for the Cougars. Right. You know, they hit a certain lengths they hit certain heights and also yeah weights but at the end of the day it's it's price point it is it is you price know? point but even with the price point you know sure. between a cougar and a high country you're looking at maybe 35 five thousand difference maybe Based, somewhere around depending there. on the floor not depending much on difference. the floor plan sure. yeah not much difference you're still getting good great features mm -hmm. true fit slides heated and closed underbellies um it's just smaller frames yeah a little bit smaller floor plans. Now, this is their regular mid profile. This is their half ton. So, mm -hmm. if you got a three quarter ton, good option there. If you got a half ton, good option here because the half tons are going to be even, you know, a little bit smaller than the regulars. And it just plays to what vehicle you have to tow. Mm -hmm. Look, you still get, look at all the storage that you have here. Now, you had mentioned you can't really put a cooler in there. I mean, I could probably get my cooler in there. I got that party bar, the Coleman party bar. I could do a 12 that in. pack in there. 12 pack. <laughs> Easily get 12 pack. Yeah. A <laughs> couple cases in the Montana. Now, this floor plan, when we talk about half ton, you're going to see more north south beds with yes. wardrobe slides in the bedroom. And then yes. what that does is that keeps a length down. Yeah. Okay. Not everybody needs a king bed. Mm -hmm. Not everybody needs a bed slide. You know, with bed slides, it does give you that front wardrobe. Right. With north south beds, it does eliminate that. That, that that's why they do put it out on the off door yeah. side. Well, and the other thing you're going to notice too between look at the um, counter space. This is impressive. Yeah. This well, this is their 30 RLS. This nice. is a great rear living floor plan for that couple that doesn't want to give as many features. But yeah, you notice the countertops. We got those solid surface beautifuls in mm -hmm. there. These are those pressed countertops. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be a little bit lighter, hence the half ton. So you are going to get hidden up hinges. a little bit there. But the hidden hinges. And a mid profile. That's that's awesome. Hey, they needed to come at the Montanas, and that's sure. probably the best way to do it. You still get, now, even with this uh, half ton mid profile, with the height that we have, we still get good residential style mm -hmm. here. Um, lots of space for your storage inside the cabinetry. Uh, plenty of prep and countertop space. And with the opposing slides, you're going to get an island kitchen, mm -hmm. which to me, uh, that's another thing they didn't have, what, probably... Years ago, yeah, Island, five, Island, years ago, right? yeah. And yeah. Island, what Islands did is this reinvented our floor plans for us. Mm -hmm. Because before the Islands, your kit countertop was either there mm -hmm. or most of them were over here on the door side. When right. you had a slide on the door side, especially your kitchen, it eliminated your windows. Yeah. Now, one of the differences between... Cougar, Montana, and even between the Cougar half ton and the Cougar mid profiles, the ACs. What? So <laughs> I can't hear you. I mean, they're still quiet ACs. Oh. And you got the, you know, you got the quick cool dump mm -hmm. right there, but it's just not those those blade whisper quiets that you guys have. You know, those Coleman mocks yeah. like you were talking about earlier. Yeah, that's a nice open. system. That's a different version of the Coleman mock that yeah. they have. Absolutely. Oh, yeah, it's, it's still, look, for 15K, I mean, you're still getting a 15K that kicks out tremendous heat. The you great see? the great thing about Keystone is when we talk about this is the Montana has its own plant, production right. plant. The high country has its own production plant. Cougar, full-size fifth wheels, has its own production plant. Right. Cougar half ton and trailers have their own plant. So right. our workers are familiar with how they operate. Right. So that being said is each plant uses its own standards yeah you know whether it's this version of the coleman mock 
that version of the Greystone microwave, etc. Right. So that's the great thing. We don't share plants like a lot of other <clears throat> manufacturers do. Yeah, and that allows you to kind of keep, you know, we're talking about standard, that, that allows you to keep it's cookie cutters. Yeah, the consistency sure. going. So, when, and Chris had mentioned the TrueFit slides out there earlier. Uh, those are standard on pretty much all the Keystone mm -hmm. Cougars in Montana's. And what that is, is that's a slide that truly fits the opening and it minimizes the use of components, moving the slides in and out, minimize the use of components, minimize the stuff that can break. That's to me is a huge selling point because you don't, I, I got a Harley, but I knew I got a Harley because when you get a Harley, you get a Harley to sure. work on a Harley. You don't ride it, you work on it. Mm -hmm. I want to do that with my RV. Yeah. So uh, still get residential style Electric Ele fireplaces. Electric fire, which most campgrounds you go to, your electric's included in your rent. Yeah. Burn their electric up. Yeah. Love it. Let's go Absolutely take a look it. up here. Nice, spacious now this, bathroom and bedroom. Now, this is the uh, this is the half ton. Yep. And, Kev, I'm going to step out the way so you can kind of see next. Chris is 6'6". Six, six. Yep. Go, go ahead and walk, walk around over there, Chris. Let's yeah. see. Uh, with the north-south bed. There what it go. does okay, is, bonk. with the north-south bed, it does uh, keep your length down. Bonk. With a bed slide, it automatically adds 24 to 30 inches to a floor plan. Yeah. So, again, a, a bed slide's not for everybody. Mm -hmm. However, you also have your wardrobe, which slides out on the off-door side as well, too. So you are getting your uh, additional storage up yeah. here that you would get in a uh, bed slide. But nice I, queen bed right here. I believe it's a 60 yep. by 80. Yep. Let me see here. It sure is. Yep, 60 and by 80. 60 by a 80. lot of RVs only have the 60 by 72. So I see here. Those camp queens. Yeah. Oh, there you go. I see now. But I, I wanted Chris to get in there so you could see this is a half ton. And we had talked about with those foot with those mid profiles, the front cap has a little bit more of a boxed edge on mm -hmm. it, like that. These these half tons, it does like this. Once again, because they're reducing the weight, mm -hmm. so you can hopefully pull it with a half ton truck, but you're not really giving up any amenities. And you pick up some aerodynamics yeah. as well, too, less wind resistance. And to be honest, when you're camping, I'm okay with having to duck down if I have to, because I'm, I'm, I'm going to be camping in it. Sure. Um, we still get the option to put in additional ACs if you want it. That's why we, it's mm -hmm. like in the automotive industry. That's why you have different size automobiles, just like yep. houses. That's why you have a ranch, yep. tri level, a two story. Residential style showers with the bench seat. You still get the undermounted sinks inside the bathroom, porcelain bowls. You got hyperdeck flooring, which is a, le which is a uh, laminated polypropylene fiberglass floor. Nice thing on this floor plan here, like the Montana and the high country, yep. you have an air conditioning duct and a heat duct in, in, the south, bathroom. in the bathroom. Because when that door is shut, you don't want it too cold or yeah. too hard. That's a great point. And again, it's, it's attention to detail it is. at Keystone RV. The RV industry is 30 to 40 years behind yep. the automotive industry as far as technology. Yeah. But Keystone is very innovative on what we put in our RVs. We just don't, yeah. our suppliers come to us on a daily basis and they're just like, you know, here's what I got. Yep. You know, we engineer it. We just don't grab it and run with right. it. Well, I mean, you guys have been innovators of the space from everything from the half ton mid profile all the way up to the full profile and, and the high country. You guys have been innovators, which is why mm -hmm. Keystone in both brands is one of the top selling for the last almost 20 years running. Well, the Cougar's been the number one selling uh, mid profile fifth wheel for years and years, well yeah. over 10 years. Yeah. So you still get great quality construction. You still get great quality features, mm -hmm. you, you get things that you won't get on other uh, fifth wheels, like the heated and closed underbelly, yeah. the 12-volt pads on the tanks, the porcelain bowls, the solid surface countertops, the hyperdeck <laughs> flooring, the whisper quiet ACs. Yeah. You get standard features in both that are going to make you happy that when you get it, you say, this is a good investment for camping and enjoying and spending time with my family. And, and at the end of the day, that's, that's really what it's about. So you can't go wrong either way you go. Three-quarter or full-ton truck, and you want the full profile, Montana is the way to go. The only difference Absolutely between a three quarter and one ton truck is the amount of payload rating. Yeah. A properly equipped three quarter truck can tow and haul the same as one ton. It's just basically how it's set up. Mm -hmm. But again, you'll want to get with your salespeople at, yep. the, at the automotive dealership where you bought it or even at the RV dealership. We want to make sure that you have the right yep. vehicle. We don't want to put you out on the road and say, yeah, it'll work. and good luck and send you on your way. Yeah, it, it, yeah. We, don't, we don't want to work that no, way. There, there are a lot of RV dealers that will just put you in a fifth wheel just because you know the, they, they want to sell They'll the tell you wheel. what you want to hear. Yeah. 
But with, with us, with Camping World and Gander RV and Outdoors, you can bring your vehicle in. It's easy and it's free. They'll check it and they'll test it for you and say, hey, here's, okay, so tow rating, stop rating is really, you know, because you can tow whatever you want. It's when you want to stop it. <laughs> that yeah. kind of is the big player there. Sure. So let them walk you through that process. But if you have any questions about the Keystone Montanas, the high countries, or the Cougar Half Tons or the Cougar Mid Profiles, just text RV to 46642. Drop me a comment down below, RV. But regardless of what you were looking at, hopefully this kind of helped get you off the fence of am I going to get a Montana or am I going to get a Cougar? Because you can't go wrong in either way. It's, it's a one-two punch. Yeah. Can't go wrong. Best one-two punch, you just got to find a floor plan yeah. that fits mm -hmm. you. Floor plan, I appeal, and then whatever price point you feel comfortable. We want to say hi to Kevin. It's awful nippy up north. Yeah. So we want to say hi to Kevin. Yeah, Kevin, by the way, when we get done, so. we're going golfing. We got a tee time here. Yeah, we got to yeah, go. Yeah, we do. All right, Ultimate RV Show is going to continue next. For Chris Stender, I'm Chris Young. Thank you for watching the Keystone versus Battle. We'll see you back here in a little bit. We want something newer and a better fit for our lifestyle. We got solar and satellite internet. We have five boys and we live full time in our RV. We work out of our RV every single day and so having it be white and bright makes it feel a million times bigger. It's an amazing feeling that you can't replace. Honestly, we now feel like we're really home. Discover your home away from home at Camping World. Ultimate RV Show National Tour. What's up? It's Chris Young. You know, one of the great things about Camping World, Gander RV and Outdoors, and our 2 million Good Sam members. 2 million? Over 2 million Good Sam members. They understand what Good Sam Roadside is, but a lot of people don't, but you guys absolutely do. We're part of the 2 million. We're yeah, part absolutely. of the 2 mil, yeah. <laughs> First thing we did when we got our RV, we got the Good Sam membership. Because well, we yeah. bought a little bit of an older rig. We got right. the 2000 Damon Intruder, 36 foot. Okay. And we had a little bit of anxiety, like, hey, what if something happens? Right. We're on the road. We got all of our, our entire lives in the, in the RV. Yeah. You know, what happens if we need a tow? Yeah, and I think the thing that sold us was the unlimited miles of towing capability. And we're yes. like, that is insane. Normally, yeah. even just with our regular insurance, with our town cards, like, oh, you get five miles. Yeah. This is Five miles, five miles, 500 miles. Yeah, That's doesn't matter. Insane. Unlimited distance towing. And you guys even had a roadside experience happen, didn't we you? We did. We yeah. did, yeah. Our battery died, and so we called up Good Sam. They were there in 20 minutes, replaced the battery, gave us a discount. We were on our merry way in like a half hour. Well, you know, a lot of people think, okay, well, that's cool for your RV, but the Good Sam Roadside also extends to your vehicles as well. And that's crazy. One membership covers everybody, spouse, kids, you know, the whole nine, and it extends to your vehicles. I had the same thing happen. My wife, whom I love, <laughs> not my fault, Tiff, not my fault. I know, <laughs> like, I don't know. Don't you worry. I got my, <laughs> I will. Got okay, let's just put, one of us locked the keys in the car <laughs> oh, at oh, a boy. shopping center, and I called Good Sam. <laughs> I was on the phone with him in a matter of minutes. Literally 20 minutes later, really? somebody was there to get it out, get the keys out. I was back on my way, no damage to the car. And it's incredible. It is incredible. So it's a good, it's an excellent plan. And the unlimited distance towing is really a huge key component of it. But here's the deal. During the Ultimate RV Show National Tour, plans are 50% off for new members. That's, That's and, huge. And it's already that? a very low price. It's so already extremely it's, low price. That is a really deal, deal of a deal. It is. So if I want to get it, what do I got to text? You got to text or comment ROAD, R-O-A-D, to 95867 to get that deal. Yeah, or just drop us a comment down below ROAD. Trust me. An ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. And Ooh. Good Sam is worth way more than that. So get your Good Sam roadside assistance today. More of the Ultimate RV Show National Tour right now. My name is Dan McKenzie. This is my wife, Lindsay. We're full-time RVers. We're in Breckenridge, Colorado, doing some winter camping. First five years of our marriage, we just traveled as much as we could. When we traveled, I just felt alive. I couldn't find that same feeling in anything else that I did. And we were in a small mountain town in North Carolina and it was beautiful. Mm -hmm. We were having an amazing weekend together and she just looked at me and she said, I don't want to go back. We have to figure out a way to make this something we can do. What if we could travel full time, take our house with us, take, take our, our dogs, dogs with us. But even when she said it, that seemed crazy. We started realizing that there was actually a community out there of other people from all different walks of life, all different yeah. age groups that were doing it. And then we just kind of said, we're doing it. 
We had done so much international travel, we had kind of neglected America. <laughs> yeah. uh, and so once we started exploring America, we just fell in love. We have found a whole new happiness that I never knew we could find. Every place offers something different and unique and we literally fall in love with every place we go because there's just different culture and different um, attractions that we can check out. We really enjoy going to breweries at every place that we go, mm -hmm. um, so that's one of our favorite pastimes. We love, you know, checking out the dog parks and taking our dogs on hikes. Ice uh -huh. fish. Ice fish, yeah. We're, we're going to try. Yeah, nice. <laughs> that's another thing about RVing and the lifestyle is that you don't have to have a plan. Yeah. Like a lot of RVers you talk to, they'll you ask, where are you going next? And everyone's like, I don't know, we might go here, we might go there. You can chase the weather and enjoy the seasons in the summer, or you know, you can do winter camping. Coming back to Colorado in the winter is an awesome opportunity for us. Parks that we like to visit actually have less people during the winter. And then when we get really cold and we're tired of the snow, we can just head out, head out. and go chase a little bit warmer weather. I think the thing that probably surprised us the most about RVing was the community. But through the internet and through social media, I can't even believe how many friends that we've made and all the connections and the community that's out there that supports you. It's pretty incredible. It's so nice just to be around like-minded people and the friendships that we're building are lifelong friendships because we just share this unique bond. We call it our RV family because that's exactly what it feels like. The first risk that, like big risk that we took in our lives that led to a lot of other cool, exciting risks that we're taking now. We literally have a home on wheels, a traveling home. We don't live out of a suitcase like we used to when we would travel and take road trips. We've got everything with us and home really is where you park it. <laughs> and we just feel like we have the best of both worlds, really, our adventure lifestyle, but also the comforts of home. Ultimate RV Show National Tour, Sean Parr, and of course, Tiffany, you guys were just talking about the Good Sam Club. That yes. is the one thing that you really need to get, and I can't wait to get into my Class A, class a and get it. And don't forget, Good Sam, the big offer, 50% off for new <laughs> members only. All you have to do is text ROAD to 95867, and you can get part of this deal. Tell You were talking all about the things that you guys love the convenience of having a good sample. Honestly, the peace of mind for the unlimited towing capabilities, I said that before and I'll say it again, is hands down worth it. And again, the membership is already so cheap and to have 50% off for new members, heck yeah, sign All right. me up again. And we're going into one of the unbelievable segments that we love, customer choice. This is the one that you guys Ooh. said we gave you a couple <laughs> of to, uh, to choose from. You voted on Twitter, on Facebook, and on YouTube and said, this is the one, Sean Parr, that we want. And so before we get to it, what if they want this particular unit? Somebody says, look, we want to get a deal on it. This is the one. What do they got to do? Well, today you get $500 off this amazing customer pick, and you have to text DEALS to 46642. That's DEALS. This show is all about taking care of you. And we have got the Jayco J-Flight uh, SLX. This unit is so beautiful. And when you talk about just walking into the dealership, you make your appointment, you text that number, you're going to get, some, it's like somebody walking up to you and saying, here's $500, Sean. I can't believe we got this deal and we are excited about you it. You can get all of your hookups and everything, all of your accessories for that $500 and you'll be on your merry way. Now, here's the cool thing. Uh, Chris and the Jurgies are going to take us through this one. And, of course, we're going to find out exactly what this particular unit is all about. Again, the customer choice, it starts right now.
Ultimate RV Show National Tour. What's up? It's Chris Young in the beautiful state of Florida with my friends, the Jergies, Bryce and Nelly. How's it hey. going? Hey, welcome to Florida, guys. Thank it's you. So this is a good nice way to, to right? This is a good way to spend the <laughs> yeah. New Year's, right? Yeah. 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 Virginia we're, was a little cold. Went from then. 30s to uh, shorts. So yeah, to shorts. I need to get some shorts on. But I, I like how Nelly brought the shorts out. I was going to do the Don Johnson Miami Vice, you know, white jacket with the <laughs> bright green lime green Listen, shirt. Listen, I have extra stuff. shorts if you want some. Are they shorts? If they might be. I don't know. We can try them on. Yes. I'm sure they'd fit, though. Because I'm obviously <laughs> your size. <laughs> so, you know, here at the Ultimate RV Show National Tour, we've had a chance to see some awesome RVs. Yes. You guys have picked some. We've had other influencers pick some. Staff have picked some. Yep. But we wanted to give the customers a chance to pick one. So we went to social media. We gave them some options. And it's not surprising that what they picked was one of the top-selling RVs over the last 15 years, a Jayco J-Flight. So we're going to be talking about that here awesome. in just a couple of minutes, and we're going to be walking through it. But here's the deal with the Ultimate RV Show National Tour. If you're interested in this Jayco J flight that we're going to show you, and you're thinking about it already, just go ahead and get ready to type deals down below or text deals to 46642. Yep. Now, if you want to talk to an RV specialist. What do you got to do? You got to text RV to 46642. Real simple. Same phone number, just different words. Yeah, you know? just different words. One will get you to somebody <laughs> who will help you find one of over 80,000 factory fresh RVs. The other one will get you the Jayco J flight. Now, yes. you guys have been full timing for how long? Uh, just oh, around three years. Yep. Okay. And what was your first RV? Our first RV was a 35 foot, um, it, was, it was 2004 model, Class A. That's class a big one. Yeah, yeah, that's a big one. Yeah. And how it was, was that? big. The first time I drove it was oh after we bought it. Right, <laughs> right. First time right. I drove any RV. He broke off a tree branch in front of our house, called me, and was like, Get out of here. We got to move to the parking lot. So there was a school nearby. Went there. <laughs> we sat on the bed and we just. Can I we started to return this thing. Yeah, I started Googling, like, <laughs> how long can you have a contract before you return it? Right, it right. It just felt too big. It just but, felt yeah. so big. And then after a while. It's perfect. It's yeah. one of those things where you gotta uh, you gotta kind of ease into it. Now <laughs> yeah. you jumped in head first into I mean, the deep end, and it worked out though. <laughs> yeah, it so work out. I'm all about jumping in, but it is most most people. There's a lot that it's good to ease into. Yeah, yeah. and you were talking about how you even drove that through Times Square. Is that we right? We did. Times we did. Yeah. If you uh, so we're the Jurgies on social media at the Jurgies on Instagram or YouTube, and we have a video where we drove through Times Square with the Class Eight. Nilly got out and got a shot right. <laughs> Right there, just and then I had to run after it. It was great. <laughs> yeah. Well, now you've you've had pretty much the best of both worlds. Yeah. You had a motorized. Uh -huh. Now you got a big, beautiful fifth wheel, it's, and you're towing big. that fifth wheel with a what? Is it three quarter ton or full ton? F full ton. It's a, a four fifty. Oh. Four fifty dually. Yeah, it's big. Nelly. Yes. <laughs> From what I understand, you drove that four fifty dually with the forty three foot. 44. <laughs> 44 foot fifth wheel. Hang on, that's a mouthful. <laughs> 40 done fifth wheel. 40 done fifth wheel. So, and you drove it from Richmond down here, right? I, I did. Bryce has, he does our editing, uh, so he does the work. And so mm -hmm. I've been driving. Doing the real work. You're just, doing the real work. I just feel like I should have people be bowing out my feet right oh, now whoa. if you guys yeah, want to get down because yes. I'm not going to lie, I feel pretty cool. She, yeah. didn't, she didn't drive the Class A. She drove it once not. across the bridge for me to get a drone shot. Right. But she's driven this, pulled this more I than I have. So. And backing it up, it. how was that? It was a little tricky at first, right. but we kind of got a system down. I feel like we're getting the hang of it. Until we get to another RV park and then we forget. But you know what <laughs> is so cool about the RV community is that everybody... Everybody comes out of the trailers. Yes. They watch yeah. for a second, and then they all come up and like, can I drive a truck, or can I help you back it up? And we're like, awesome. And it's Great. funny because they come out and ask me, you need some help? And if I hesitate a little, like, no, they're like, I got you. Yeah. I got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, no, no, just give me the keys. Let me hop in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, you know, what if I told you that today's pick is not even 22 feet long? Would that have been something you think would have been a little bit easier oh, to man. start with? Let me ask you, how many people does it sleep? Because we got true. kids. This one will sleep five people easily. Impossible. No. Nope. 22 There's feet, no 20 feet. It's, it's a bunkhouse, and here's the best part. It's lightweight, doesn't have a slide, and you can still sleep five people. That is what we call efficient. We got a family <laughs> of four, so that works. <laughs> that works. Right? Might be a little bit easier towing, too. I don't know. Well, and that's what's great about these. So the Jayco J-Flight SLX, the one we're going to show today, is the 174BH. A beautiful slideless bunkhouse model can easily sleep four to five people. Now you got the single over single bunks in here, but you got the queen size uh -huh. bed up front and the convertible dinette. 
not as much room as a 39 foot <laughs> class right. A but or a 44 foot <laughs> fifth wheel. But it'll get you more anywhere. Yeah. With that pretty much. For it's slideless too. And slideless. And it's got five people sleeping in that yeah. thing. And guess how much it weighs? 13,000 pounds. Oh, no. Oh, way. good grief. Yeah, that'd be, a, Wait, how much is that'd be ours? a solid metal. I thought ours was 18. Ours is ours 13? Ours is like 14. So it's okay, so be this is going to be like eight? 3,075 no. pounds. That's it. <laughs> The customers She's used to bigger models. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, not possible. No, so think about it. And you got those two beautiful little girls. Yeah, you still got bunks, and this one even has a tub. Stop it. I'm not. I'm, I'm sold. We're switching not. trailers. That's right. <laughs> That's why we're going to show you the customer yeah, pick check this out. right now. So I got my buddy Kevin. He is inside the 2021 Jayco J Flight SLX 174 BH. Kev, if you can hear me, I want you to nod the camera up and down. There we go. Oh, oh nice. So, now, if guys, if you <laughs> see right away, he's looking from the rear of the RV to the front. You got okay. that east to west uh, facing bed in the front. And that's up a the queen. Front cap. So that's, that's, right. a that's queen. my bed. Where's your yes. bed at? Let's find Bryce's bed. <laughs> well, Bryce would have to sleep in the tub. <laughs> we already talked about hey, that. I could, I could do it if needed. <laughs> but Jayco has been one of the top selling RVs for the last 15 years when it comes Very to travel cool. trailers. And they do such a good job of making these entry level RVs. They have Magnum Trust roof systems where it's a solid you know, vacuum bonded roof, okay. tons of amenities and tons of features go into their RVs, tons of thought and construction go into them as oh, well. Yeah, look at that. So, I mean, you're going to see, you got features you're, like the suspension netting, you got solid wood cabinetry yeah. for the storage doors right above that bed. Yeah, look at that. Feels like that rich <laughs> Corinthian <laughs> leather, doesn't it, Kev? Yeah, there you go. That's the, that's the gadget. Thank you, Van. I'll spin me another ladder. <laughs> so, All right. spacious lightweight, yeah. and right underneath that queen-size bed, I'm not going to make Kevin lift it up, but right under that queen-size bed is a lot of storage Story. as well. There you go. Yeah. There you go. Oh, whoa. Hey, well, that's there good we storage. go. Kevin's a big strong guy, and it's accessible from the pass-through outside. Very so, nice. I like how high that bed raises, too. Yeah. yeah. In our class, it just, like, barely came barely. up, and you had right. to dive down in. Well, what's nice about having it there is, is if you have kids, you come back from going to the beach, or you come back from hanging out at the park, yeah. you're going to be dirty. Yeah. You really don't want to put that stuff inside the camper. No. So you can access it outside. Oh. Access it outside. Put a little laundry basket down there. Boom, you're good to go. Yeah. Now, That's amazing. Right here on the campsite is our campsite kitchen. Now, this is one of those ones. Oh. I like to call these the uh, the smaller ones. I like to call them hunting cabins or fishing cabins. Mm -hmm. Because if you've got a piece of property that you want to set up for just a spot when yeah. people get done hunting, or the ladies' wine tour trips, where all you really need is a place to sleep and a place to clean off. Place to sleep. I mean, because you're going to be walking to wineries all day. You're going to be walking to the beach all day, going shopping, or you're going hiking, biking the whole night. I got kids. I walk all day anyway. I will, <laughs> now, you all go. you got to do here is you got your resting spot there. But Perfect. You still have plenty of yeah. prep space in that campsite kitchen. Kev, pan back over to the, uh, oh, there we go. Plenty is that of pantry a, storage. It's a two burner stove? Nice. That is a two burner suburban Perfect. cooktop. Yep. And you have the uh, sink right there on top. And look at all that counter space. For yeah. me, decent, yeah. and preparing meals, I have to have counter space. Yep. Our class A honestly didn't have a lot, and that was kind of a bummer. That's almost just as much counter space. There was, like, food in our dinette, much. food on our couch, food on our counter, trying to, like, prepare meals. That's awesome. That yeah. is awesome. And you have, it's a solid surface press countertop, which is lightweight, Perfect. easy to clean, and it helps keep this thing under 3,100 pounds dry weight. You're looking at 3,075 wow. pounds. And you could tow that with a bike. <laughs> yeah, Thank you for that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, absolutely. I mean, imagine pulling that with like one of those 50th anniversary edition Road Kings from Harley. How nice would that be? Rolling down 95 in Florida in that bad boy. And here's the kicker. How much do you think this one is? 20. 18 to 20? Maybe 18 yeah, to 20,000. Around there. Yeah, it, yeah. It, it is Jayco. And Jayco is known for being 16. the top of the market. 16. 14? You are right at it. Am I? This okay. one is starting right now at 15 995 oh, Nice. And if you text DEALS to 46642 or drop us a comment down below DEALS, you get an additional $500 off. That's... I was originally thinking being be in the 20s. Yeah. Keep blowing my they mind, are. Chris. Yeah, I mean, they, <laughs> they start at like 19 and 20. Yeah, yeah. And look, you got single over single bunks. Now, the other thing that Jayco is known for with their construction is their bunk models. A lot of single bunks usually only have 150-pound max capacity. Okay. The Jayco bunks, 300 pounds. Oh, there you go. On their singles, yeah. So when you're talking about where's Bryce going to sleep, no, I, mean, yeah. I know Bryce is in 300 pounds. I'm He's working like, on it. Like Chris. a buck 60. <laughs> yeah, I'll call you. you look like the Terminator from T2, man. <laughs> Thank you. It's strong and cut. Me, I'm pushing that 300. 
There you go. Solid. That's awesome. Comfortable. And you got those three inch thick mattresses. And, oh, and there's the bathroom. Be bunk mates. Yeah. I, I got the top bunk. <laughs> I got the top bunk. Yeah, the top bunk. You got the mirror right there. And right, Nelly, we were looking at this oh, earlier. There it there is. There is the tub. You got that That's single surround tub. That is awesome. Plastic bowl with the oh. foot flush. Yeah, our little girl, would, both girls would love that. Because we have one of those like, right now, and it's all, it's fine, but we got one of those like portable tubs, you know, little kid tubs. Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then we got a store, and that's okay, but right. having a bathtub like that would be so nice. Yeah. When you're coming back from whatever you're doing, or if you don't have the kids, if you have dogs with you, yeah, good spot to spray them off and clean them off in there without tracking a lot of stuff around the, 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 uh, the, rest, of the, the rest of the RV. The other nice thing about the tub is when, when you're using the shower, you yeah. don't get that spray over with the little small yeah. single surround showers because, you know, some of them only have those, like, two or three-inch lips on it. This, you got a full, you that's know, calf true. deep tub in there. Yeah, kids can have a party in there. Yeah. Or I can have a party in there. You know what, too, <laughs> as I'm looking at this, like, uh, we know others that th the RVs are almost too intimidating, too big for them, or travel right. trailers, and so they like the, mm -hmm. the van life thing. But yeah. this, this is a lot this is a, more. Even, sh yeah. like, shorter than some of theirs. Yep. And God, right. It has everything. And it, yeah. uh, one thing I laugh about when I saw the toilet here, that's enough space. Not too much information here, but when you sit down <laughs> on a toilet, you don't want the door to hit you know, your knees. And that's yes, exactly. Yeah. 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 Six, five, yeah, you got pretty yeah. 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 yeah, back in here. This toilet. Look at this. Right? Like, some of these others that try to compact everything in, there's not much. That's a lot of space that right is. there. And you know, you're 6'5". You're yep. yeah. The roofs in these are 6'6". Six, six. Yeah. So you got plenty of headroom. You got awesome, an inch to spare. Awesome. You can grow the long hair back and even spike it up a little oh, bit. Oh, man. I mean, you know, that would be, that'd be <laughs> a mean, nice touch. Yeah. <laughs> Good look. So, but starting that. at fifteen nine ninety five wow. during the Ultimate RV Show, Still the customers there. really Still. picked this one because it's a great entry-level RV. We got a lot of folks for uh, 2020 that found out they've been doing the tent camp life or been doing the van camp life that they can get into an entry-level camper, yeah. extremely affordable. Way affordable. You know, we got some of the best financing options available on the planet when it comes to RVs. And for something like this, it's you already get, done and ready for you to go. It's ready yeah. to rock. Now, yeah. see, this is something my parents have been looking for. My parents want a small trailer, but mm -hmm. they yeah. also want some space for the grandkids. Yeah. Uh -huh. I mean, that's their purpose, right, is to take right. the grandkids out. Yeah. This is perfect. Like, yeah. you don't need more than that. No. You know what you currently are driving, you could just put a hitch on to take this as well. So I you mean, don't have to get a whole new rig. At less than 3,100 pounds dry weight, that's... I mean, that's SUV, that's vans. Yeah. There's a, you open up so many options for towing this thing. This is just... Awesome. Kev, let's take a look at that dinette. Here, here's yeah, the only that thing out. that, that kind of got me. If you're an adventurous couple, an active couple, yep. uh, and you want something with a little bit of space, and it's just going to be you two reconnecting yeah. at the dinette, check that out. Now, that reduces down into a single sleeper. Uh -huh. But look at that large panoramic window right there. That's nice. So when you start snoring or when Nellie starts snoring. It'd be me. Be, it would be yeah. nice. <laughs> so it'd here's be, the thing. <laughs> I... It's incontrollable, so it's yeah. oh not my fault. Right, right. <laughs> you got storage underneath both sides there yeah. under the bench oh, okay, seats. Cool. The table reduces down. I mean, you got that. And a lot of them now have the uh, easy-to-clean, slip-resistant flooring, too. Awesome. With, you know, these great laminates that, you know, re resist mold and water and, yeah. and all so types nice. of stuff. Our, you know our class, yeah. they had the old-school carpet in it. We switched it out we for switched wood. It out. Yep. Yes. But well, we were just talking about this this morning because I, we have the same kind of flooring in our fifth wheel right now. Yeah. You used to get a broom, and mm -hmm. if it's just dirt, you just sweep it right out the door. You don't know it's got to bend down. <laughs> yeah. and you got to pick it up with a dust fan. It's yeah. such simple cleaning, simple maintenance. And it looks good, too. It does it's look so good. good. Dirty carpet is like the worst thing. It is. That RV, it looks the worst. Yeah. And this one, um, let's see if I remember right, too. I don't know if you can actually see it, but uh, it's the, the, the command system, the stereo system. MP3, oh. Bluetooth, got dual zone. Very it's, uh, cool. Yeah, it's one of Yeah, there we go. Oh, there we go. Oh. Yeah, there's our AMF and command center. Kev knows. Look at that. You got the HDMI port. Just nice. options for entertainment because, you know, we're all playing music off our phones and whatnot. Yep. You yep. can control this from your phone, too, to play your music in or out. Just a very nice option. Now, can we see that fridge? I, yeah. We saw it for a second, but I want oh, to take yeah, a closer yeah. look to fridge? it. Yeah. I, there's a sink. There's a sink. I think the fridge is, uh, yeah, I'm fridge sure he's, is, he's trying to open it right now. Oh, he's trying to open That's it. Okay. right there with yeah. the camera. One hand. There it is. Just set the camera down. There we go. There you go, yeah. So you got the little there fridge, the, the weekend little, fridge, yeah. the weekend warrior right there. The little college dorm style fridge. Yeah. That's what yeah, I like what to call need. them. Yeah. And for those weekend getaways, those weekend cool. trips, that's really all you need. Yeah. No, a thousand percent. Um, you know, there's something you said that I wanted to talk about a little bit more. 
On those bunk houses, how thick were those mattresses? Those are three inch thick teddy bear style mattresses. So oh they're gosh. fuzzy, they're thick. And you know, coming up here in a little bit, we're gonna be talking about mattresses with you guys, bedding and bed toppers. Yeah. Because okay. a lot of people don't know at Camping World, we sell things like comfort zone, sleep number, this that, and the other thing that you can put inside your RV. And that so, is a game changer. Yeah, that a is a game changer. Game that, that converts changer. you where you're like, I will do this. I don't need to sleep yeah. in a tent. I, I will do this. One of the first <laughs> things I tell people, get your own bed. Yeah. Sure, yep. some of them are great. I mean, some uh -huh. of them even have like the foam mattresses and stuff like that. They're not bad mattresses at all. But if you're a picky sleeper, yes. get your own mattress when you get your RV. It's funny when we like will park at family's house. Look at that beautiful thing. Yeah, he got it open. <laughs> yeah. Get oh, it, Cam. Good job, Cam. Good yeah. job. Yeah. That's all you need. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yes. Yes, the beautiful what a good Kevin man White. Model he has. Yeah, okay. Kevana White. Thank you. <laughs> That's beautiful. So this is the 2021 Jayco J Flight SLX 174BH, our Florida customer pick here at the Ultimate RV Show National Tour, starting at fifteen nine ninety five. And if you text deals to four six six four two or drop us a comment down below, deals, you're going to get an additional five hundred dollars off. Now this is an aluminum sided RV. Great for the entry level. I'm a fan of telling people if they've never RV'd, start with aluminum. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because you never know where you're going to take it, what you might hit. Yep. <laughs> and they're a little bit easier to repair if you do end up doing it. Hit a tree branch or yeah. something. But look you at will. this one. You got a 10 foot power awning with LED light strip. Power. Awesome. That's nice. And Jayco has some of the best warranties in the country, too. They got the two plus three. Um, with, with anything that you get, it really depends on what are you going to tow with, where mm -hmm. are you going to take it how many people you need to sleep. And yeah, no, that's totally. one of the reasons why we have people standing by now to kind of help you go through that process and find the right one. And Nellie, if, if I wanted to talk to somebody about over 80,000 RVs that are coming, what would I need to do? All they got to do is text RV to 46642. So easy. Or you yeah. can comment below as well. Oh, I you see, see a little. Yep, I got to yeah. You guys see that little pass through Let storage? Let me see that right? So that's the yeah. storage that's connected to the bed. It is. That's the so, one you can access. Awesome. So look at that, yeah. Kevin Cunning, get around there. There you go. There We're we making go. Kevin earn it today. There you go. That Look is at that. so cool. That's all the way through. Wow. It goes pretty deep, at least. Nice. That's oh, it's for the bed. Deep. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It yeah. Goes the bed. It's for the bed. That's right. That's nice. So you slide your little laundry basket in there. But look how wide That's awesome. look how wide across it is. That opens up you yep. know, some of the tailgater grill combos. Yep. It also opens up chairs, stuff like that for beach accessories. Just a good little spot. It Jayco does those little things that makes the camping experience so much better. Yeah. Because if you don't enjoy it, you're not going to want to do it again. That's, That's so accurate. true. That's how they're able to get out there and do it. Their yep. construction, their warranty. I mean, they've been doing it right. And right there, we didn't really get a chance to see it on the inside because oh, of how dark it was. Yeah. You have a window in the front cap. Which okay. is, that's one of those, sorry, I cut you off, but that's no. one of those, like, little things you don't think about that makes a big difference. Big, yes. big difference. So if you're laying in bed, you're lounging or whatever, and... You can have the natural light coming in the scenery, or sometimes you want to hear, look at what's going on, what you hear yeah. outside of you, and it's right there. That's a convenient spot. Imagine sitting there on the queen size bed on the inside. You you have this angle to where you can see the sunrise coming up. Yep. And you sip your coffee while you're looking out that privacy window. So at you the just sunrise. find a nice ocean front spot, back that baby up right to the water, right. You wake up. Ooh. It's perfect. I love it. Yeah, well, like and down it. here in Florida. <laughs> I mean, you got so many yeah. good options for, for beachside. I mean, I think we only got, what, the whole entire state? <laughs> <laughs> and if you want to go to the left or right, it just doesn't yep. matter. Yep. So, wow. But just a beautiful option for anybody looking to start their camping experience or upgrade from the pop-up, from the van life. Yep. Uh, uh, at 3,075 pounds, you got a 10-foot awning. It comes with solar prep on the roof. Amazing. Plus, on the... Uh, uh, on the single, this is a single axle. It's got that Dexter Easy Lube axle. It has electric self-adjusting brakes oh, on it. Oh, very cool. Yes, just a nice little feature small that will kind of help out. Small touch, small touch. Game changer. Yeah, that's small touch. All right, touch. so there mom and dad, if you're listening to this, this is a trailer <laughs> that you want. So yeah, text RV to 46642 and help yes. <laughs> get it done. <laughs> it starts at fifteen nine ninety five during the Ultimate RV Show. It's a deal that you really can't beat. Yeah. So, Go ahead, drop us deals down below. Make it, you know, leave us a comment, deals or text deals to 46642. Let's see, I think Kev's going to go around to the yeah, back. And the back boom, like? a lot of times with the entry level go. RVs, you do not get the spare tire. Okay. You have to get that separate when you, know, when you buy it. Good to Jayco, know. put it on there oh. with the cover. Because nice. that, I mean, you know, sure, uh, good Sam, you're going to get anyway when you, when, you, when you buy one of the RVs. So it's mm -hmm. good to have that roadside. Uh, but having a spare tire really helps out. Wow. Just, Jayco knows what they're doing. 
I'm very impressed how they just literally fit everything important into this yeah, and even little trailer. Yeah, feet, eight inches. Okay, yeah. I don't believe it. I feel like Bryce needs to lay down a couple times to see how tall, like long it is. <laughs> I cannot believe that it's that long. Yeah, it is 21 feet, 8 inches, 3,075 pounds. You got 78 inches of clearance on the inside as far as height go. Can wow. easily sleep four to five people. That is and how the, 20... is the overall height? Oh, sorry, go ahead. Oh, no, so, so the overall height you're looking at uh, with the AC, you're just over nine. Wow. Sheesh, yeah, yeah. You're, you're golden. Yeah, you're golden on that one. Yeah. And it's we, got a 13.5 BTU AC, too. It doesn't have one of those wall-mounted, oh, yeah, you yeah. know, 8,000s. It's got a 13.5. All right. Let me ask you guys a question, then. Yes, ma'am. If you were to go anywhere with this trailer, where would you go? Keys. Keys, Florida? Keys, hands down. You know I what? hit all of them with I it. I can't fight you on that. Yeah. I think that's the only answer. But imagine <laughs> taking the girls to Disney World in that. It's, yeah. Oh, man. Because they do have a little RV park there. That yes. would be... We actually uh, had trouble parking there. With this, you would no, not we, have trouble gee, parking. with that 44-foot fifth wheel. It was a little <laughs> tight. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's when that's the what, whole neighborhood came out. I kind of handed over my man card just for a little bit. During that <laughs> Nothing wrong up, with that. Yeah, it was fine. But if you've been looking for that entry-level RV to do the golfing, to do the fishing, to take the family wherever you want to yeah. go, this is the customer pick of the week here for the Ultimate RV Show National Tour. The 2021 Jayco J Flight SLX 174 BH starting at 15995 we're going to give you an additional 500 bucks off right now if you text oh, deals wow. to 46642 or drop us a comment down below deals. Bryce, Nelly, the Jergies. Yep. If this if you would have had it different, would you have picked something like this as your first RV? You, you know, know what? I I think we might have. Because there was parks that we couldn't go to, like Glacier National Park. Yeah. Over in the fit. west, northwest. Yeah. This you could. This yeah. would fit through. This goes through and tunnels. And by that time, this. yeah, go ahead. Sorry. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. We only had one. She's a little baby. Yeah. Like, this would have been just Could've fine fit her in for the our little house, family. Just fine. Yeah, absolutely. Well, you had mentioned she's, she saw all 50 states before she was two. She did. Yep. She saw all 50 so. states. And now we've got another little girl, so we're continuing the journey. Absolutely. Well, speaking of continuing the journey, we're going to continue the journey in okay. style and comfort when we talk mattresses and bedding. Oh. Coming up oh, next yeah. as favorite. the Ultimate RV Show National Tour continues right here in beautiful Florida. From sunup to sundown, we are designing your next big adventure, building your family vacation, delivering your memories that will last a lifetime. We know it's more than just an RV, which is why we are working around the clock to bring over 80,000 RVs fresh from the factory to our stores, to your driveway or campsite. Built by Americans for Americans and starting at less than $5 per day. Click, call, or visit your local camping world today. Ultimate RV Show National Tour. What's up? It's Chris Young back with the Jergies. Bryce, Nelly. What's going hey. on? You guys know better than anybody how important a good night's sleep is when you're in your RV. Yes. And yes. I, I heard about this segment, and I was like, yes, <laughs> yes, I am here for it. I'm all in. Let's do this. In fact, we're, we're pretty pumped right now because uh, we had two full nights of sleep in a row. Our right. seven-month-old, she was like getting sleep trained, and then we hit the road. But yeah, now, she, yeah, now yeah. she's good. Praise Dude. everything good. Yeah. That's, That's beautiful. <laughs> yeah. That's absolutely beautiful. Well, did you know that we sell mattresses for RVs? I did not know that until today. I'm not going to lie. So we have not only just regular mattresses, we have premium mattresses like Sleep Number, Comfort there Zone, so Tempur-Pedic. Awesome. I mean, we got mattresses that people say, wait a minute, Camping World, Gander, RV, and Outdoors, I can go get a Sleep Number <laughs> or, a, or a Comfort yes. Zone? Yes, 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 yes. They do. you absolutely can. But one of my favorite things are the beddings. You guys talk about that while I go around here and grab this pillow. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Well, um, like this or this? Sheets right here. Can I talk about this? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Go ahead. Once I started feeling this, all you of a sudden a minute went by. Yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, this is, and it says, the softest sheets ever. They mean it. Yeah. This is good. So I call good. that the, the conversation stopping sheet because, <laughs> you know, it's one of those ones where when you walk into the camper and you're talking about, you know, baby, I think maybe tomorrow we should go. <laughs> <laughs> I had, that was me earlier. Yep. They really are the softest Osh sheets around. So awesome. RV collection. Yeah. That's good stuff right and there. And you have so many options to choose from. And, and these are made to fit RV size mattresses and okay. full size mattresses if you get like residential style mattresses in your RV. So Excellent. we have both inside our stores. Now, if you say, Chris, that's awesome. I want to learn some more about the bed. I want to learn some more, Chris. Yep. How do they do it? Oh, they got to text CAMP to 46642. Actually, yep. if they want to go directly to the bed. Oh, to the bed. Yeah, directly yeah, yeah. to it. Yeah. Then they got to text DEALS to 46642. Yeah. Yep. Or drop us a comment down below DEALS. Yeah. And one of the other things, it's funny, uh, feel that. 
I know, just I just I already want to touch it. <laughs> yeah. no, give it. You, yeah. you saw me hugging it when I walked that's up. Just, right? I did. Oh, man. <laughs> that's how it feels. Hugging I'm gonna go take a nap over there after the segment. So. You, and you wouldn't think that an RV so specialist Wait store on it. would have. It's good. Stuff <laughs> like this. It's perfect. But when you're talking about resting yeah. and relaxation and enjoying time with each other. RVing, the RV lifestyle, we know about relaxation. This is why you get an RV. Yep, you get that so you can get these type of pillows. You got yeah. pillows, we got mattress toppers. These eggshells are oh, yeah. great for the kids because you can take a full or a queen size, cut it up, use yep. it on the bunks, or take it outside if the kids want to take a nap outside. There's yep. this comfort zone right here, sleep number. I mean, they got everything you need. Every level of mattress, yep. they got it. If that doesn't convince you to jump into this lifestyle. While you're camping, you kidding me? Yeah, nothing will. So, Ultimate RV Show National Tour. Once again, if you want the betting, just text DEALS to 46642. Drop us a comment down below, DEALS. You want any of the great retail products, just text CAMP to 46642. Or drop us a comment down below, CAMP. Ultimate RV Show National Tour right here in Florida with more stuff coming up next. Did you know you can own an RV for as little as $98 a month? Let's see which one suits your family and budget. Travel trailers are by far the most popular. They come in a wide variety of sizes and can sleep up to 10 people. You can take your family of four camping for as low as $98 a month. Need more room? Some travel trailers can sleep six to eight people for only $114 a month. Next up is the fifth wheel. Smaller fifth wheels will sleep four to six and start at $186 per month. And some of the bigger ones sleep eight or more for just $194 a month. If you want to drive your RV, we have motorhomes that fit every lifestyle and budget. The most popular is the Class C. Class C sleep five to nine and start at only $322 a month. The biggest motorhomes, the Class A's, they can sleep up to 10 and come in at $456 a month. For even more info and to browse over 30,000 RVs, check out rv.campingworld.com. Ultimate RV Show National Tour, day one down here in beautiful Florida. Guys, what a way to Woo. really cap one yeah, of the yeah, best yeah. shows going on in the country. Now, was there something that you saw today that you really liked, Sean? Was there anything that stood out in your mind that's really good? Well, besides all the deals, and there were so many today, uh, for me was the face-off that you did with the other Chris. Yes. <laughs> Cougar taking on Montana. We've never done that. It was our first one. And a Chris won at the end. So I yes. thought that was a nice touch. Yes, a Chris was going to win, and a Chris won. So it was a good <laughs> <Yeah>. thing to have. <laughs> Nellie, Bryce, what about you guys? I, I was honestly impressed by the Jayco J flight that we looked at. The SLX. Yeah. Yes. Uh, just because we have our big rig, and I've always thought, like, bigger, you know, that's what has everything that you need. But yep. it packs a punch in that little guy. So I, yeah. was, I was really impressed by that. 21 feet long. I mean, starting at 15,995. Those are great entry-level campers that anybody can hop in. It's such yeah. a good option. No, you know, and I like those travel trailers, toy haulers. They have, like, it's yes. like everything good with fifth wheel just jammed mm -hmm. into the travel trailers. It's like they, they just the crunched it in real yes. good. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Also, I wanted to say about that, because that was the, the pick, right, that we yeah. were talking about earlier, the XLX. Yeah, yeah. yeah, the customer pick. So just a reminder, if you want that, you can text DEALS to 46642, and you get $500 off tonight only on that. So yeah. that's a good entry level. Yeah, absolutely. And, Sean, you had one, too, didn't you? Uh, we had uh, several, and uh, the, but when I was looking at the Montana and I was looking at the Cougar, and I, I keep coming back to that, it was such an exciting segment. Yeah. Uh, and folks say, look, Sean, I want that Montana, or I want that – you know, Cougar, it's you just text RV yep. to the four four six uh four six six four two and you can get it. Yeah. And absolutely. get a great deal. And we can even have it delivered to you. Paperwork can be sent to you. You don't even have to leave the comfort of your couch or your camp chair. Cougar Montana, you're not gonna go wrong anyway. And Tiff, I saw you smiling all day through that mask. You had to have a few that you like. I absolutely loved the Coleman Power Sport that we rolled up on. That was pretty <laughs> sweet. The toys. Right. I'm starting to turn into Caleb now. And <laughs> I mean, that was so much fun. And then there's also even more giveaways, $250 thousand dollars worth of giveaways yeah. yes you guys if you have not yet text urvs to 46642 you have to do it it's an order for you to be eligible for any of these giveaways i mean with over i'm ready two. i'm ready for more ATVs. Sign not to mention up. rvs we're giving away an rv yes. this week too That's so true. i mean Incredible. over two hundred fifty thousand dollars worth of stuff we're giving away every week eighty thousand rvs coming fresh yes factory fresh rvs people standing by to help we got retail. We got good Sam. We got RVs. You guys have just completely blown me away with the day one 
here of the Ultimate RV Show in beautiful Florida. And I got to say, from the bottom of my heart, it means so much to me that we are able there to is. come by <laughs> and give not only people great insight into RVs, what it's like to live full time, but when there's other shows going on in the beautiful state of Florida, we blow them all oh, away. Boom, With the Ultimate <laughs> RV Show National Tour. When we go come back, baby? Day two, 7 p.m. Eastern from Florida. We will see you tomorrow. How about that? Yes, that's how you end it. Awesome. <laughs>